guess, I guess, it's how it's positioned and where it's sit at. All up high, and that's why I wanna hit that. Yeah. Hit that. Before you leave, I'm just sitting. I'm a post over there in these thousand dollar chinnies. We get up at the bar with the rest of my chinnies. I know I sound anxious, but mama, I'm on a bit name. You know what I mean. I hope you on the scene. The way you move that name got me going in the scene. I see you when I walk over dancing with that name. Damn, girl, that ass on the chin. Yeah. 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 Thank God. I never thought I'd be happy to see one of those things. Hey, put the donuts down! Drop the Krispy Kreme, Serpico! We need your help here! Yeah, look like my father and my brother after nine months just Yeah, boogity, diggity, 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 diggity!
All right. Hello there. Welcome, everybody. How's it going? Hey there, Mary. Hey there, GV. Hey there, Capricel. Hey, Nyx. How's it going, Tark? Hey, Moy. Hey, Costar. How's it going? Hey, Kelly. Hey, it's Chameleon. How's it going, weird name? Hey, Boogie. Hey, any other cartoon? Hey, Pancon Queso, thank you for the four months. Hey, someone gifted me a membership. Hello, well, hi, Phil. Hello there. We have a new model for the streams. How's it going, everybody? Hey, Pixie Boy, thank you for the eight months. Gonna have to catch the vibe, but glad to be here for a good while. Thank you. Also, that model good. Thank you, thank you very much. We Before we start the stream proper with the video game, we have a new model made by Sora Studios. Wow, hope your day is going great. Thank you, Queen Voodoo, for the six months. So, two weeks ago, we had a gre Gremlin Fi model made by Artsy Ashers. And this week, we are debuting a new model by Zora Studios called Mythfi. Hey, Slater Lighter, thank you for the 10 months. So before we start the stream, time to show it off to everyone. So, this is the model. It's a little bit cut off on the right side. Hey, so how are you doing? Hey, Doodle King, thank you for the 19 months. Look at this biggin. Dominating. Hey, Yuck the Joker, thank you for the 10. I mean, thank you for the 10 gifted. Hell yeah. Nice. I need to make a cerveza cristal, Phil. If you guys modeled like more Fi designs based off of random objects and drinks, that would be great, actually. Is so cute. Love it. Good work, Sura. Thank you. Now, for those that do not know, we've been adding a lot more models like during this season. Obviously, at the start, we had Azazel's model. And now we have Asher's model for Gremlin Fi, and now we have Mint Fi, which is made by Sora Studios, and it's meant to be more of like a nerdy Fi with like actual proper style clothing, modeled around a mint cake thingy. And obviously, just like the other Fi's, the stuff changes depending on the emotions. This model looks sick. Thank you. you did a great job. So, for example, in the regular green emotions, we have like a regular kind of cake hat. But if we go into the angry emotion, we have a little bit more of a beret, like a like a melted kind of cake with like spikes on the hat. And the bow tie becomes like more sharp and angry. If we go into the happy emotions, like these ones, the bow tie is a lot more rounder and it becomes a party hat. They all we when we're when we have sad we have more of like a like a like a sun hat type of deal. For the smug we have a top hat with like a little bit more stylized bow tie. Nineteen months, also awesome work, Zura. Thank you, Egg, for the nineteen months. For the bored one, we have like a. I don't, how do you call those like beanies? We have like a more like a beanie thing with the. Bow tie being a lot more droopy. For the shocked, we have a bowler hat with those white glasses where you can't see the pupils. For the scared, we have like a spiky bow tie with a hard hat at the top, which is very cute. We have <laughs> nerd, which I think we're gonna use on the stream. That's the unique emotion of this model. Look at the fucking square teeth of this one. Mm, action. What's up, Doc? We have drunk with a little fedora. I'm not a fedora. This is a fez. With a mismatched bow tie. And we have cringe with an actual fedora. That's 15 emotions, just like the other ones. Now... You may notice, hey Phil, 
you're getting a lot of models from a lot of different artists and like every single one has a different style what's up with that why would you need so many different models and mostly what well first of all Fi is supposed to be like kind of like a shapeshifter character so i always encourage like artists to have like different takes on Fi instead of just sticking with the regular reference Hey, Chrissy, thank you for the five euro. This model made by Zura is freaking peak. Thank you. I love the cake idea. It's awesome. Good job, Zura. Hell yeah. But also, aside from Fi being a shapeshifter and being able to be whatever artists want, I also want to encourage, like, and commission, like, artists in the top success bit so that, you know, I can give back to the community and actually commission them for, like, new stuffs for the stream while adding a bit more of their unique style to each model. And... I want each model to be like for different types of streams. So for example, you have the regular one by made by Azazel that can be like for any stream that I want to. Gremlin Fi for like more silly or like fucked up or like just generally more chaotic streams. And I want this one made by Sora, Mint Fi, to be more for like visual novels, uh, games with a lot of reading and like more nerdy games, I suppose you could say. Today, for example, we are playing Class of 09, which is a visual- well, not really a visual novel, it's more like an anti-visual novel. You'll see, this game is super fucked up. But I think that this game would be, like, a perfect way to introduce this model. Especially because there's a character here that is essentially this fucking emotion, just, like, throughout the entirety of the game. So, that'll be fun to, like, look at that character while I, while I have that emotion on. The cost star for the two dollars. New model is making me hungry. Just for your information, I would like to reiterate that if you take a bite out of Fi, you would your jaw would probably melt off. But yeah, in the future, I am planning for one more model, and I am looking at like artists in the talk success bit to commute like to contact and see if we can make even more models in the future. That way we have a collection that we can call back on for different streams. So like I'm going to be swapping out between Sora's model, this one, uh, Asher's model, Gremlin Fi, and the regular one by Azazel. And I want to then change to the new one that is currently being worked on. Any other cartoon? Thank you for the two dollars. Sora cooked so hard. I'd love to make my own too. Well. If you want to make your own one, I would encourage everyone in the talk success bit to make their own stylized Fi models. I mean, not mud models, just their own versions of them. I, d I don't mean to say, make me a model and I'll take it. I won't do that. I actually want to properly commission people for them. Hey, Droglo. Thank you for the seven months. So, is this game going to be too based or not? It's going to be incredibly based. This game... This game is what you would call dangerously based. So be careful with that. <laughs> hey, Mancito. Thank you for the six months. And this new model is so cute. Chocolate Hell yeah. Is such a great combination. Underscore Fi okay. Hell yeah. Thank you. So. Oh, thank you, Chris Clear, for the four months. Will we see the old model? They are also iconic. I am planning for the return of the old model at some point. It just depends on when Ellie is available to take commissions. Ellie, as an artist, has taken a break from commissions for a long time because she wants to, you know... Take a break and draw her own stuff, and that's completely understandable. Thank you, Alyssa, for the five months. So yeah, whenever, like, Ellie is available for a new model, I'll definitely ask for the return of the old model. I think my favorite part of the Zuri models is the sprinkles slash chocolate shavings on all the hats. Yeah! Cute. Tint Also, Class of 09 really leans into choices matter, so have... Thank you, Gallim Angel, for the $10! Anyways, so yeah. Ideally, in the future, like within a year, we would have... Maybe six models? Six is a nice number, right? Obviously, some people are not gonna be used to, like, changing models every now and then. Like, some people like, you know, to have one single model that they can recognize and stuff like that. But Fuck you! I wanna have variation! 
That way, every stream is, like, unique, and every stream has, like, its own, like, vibe and stuff like that. So, if you like stat- if you don't like change... Fuck you? I don't know. It's my stream, I do whatever I want. Anyways, we're gonna do Class of 09 now. And once again, thank you, Sora Studios, for the new MintFi model. There we go. It's all placed. Oh boy, everyone prepare. I have to give some warnings before we start. Because I did not kid about this game being dangerously based. So, raise your hand, everyone here, who has lived through the early to late 2000s in high school. I can raise my hand. What about you? I just want to check. Yeah, this game is dangerous. Not me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, me, me. I was born in 2004. Okay, you're barely cutting it, actually. Okay, Asher's. Okay, so Keyboard Smash has lived in that time. Pan Con Queso lived in that time. Twisted Myth lived in that time. Yeah, so for the for the about section. <clears throat> Warning! This video game is entirely based on real events, encounters, and personalities. Any content viewed as offensive is a reflection of American culture and not endorsed by Class of 09 and its staff. Apparently, all characters depicted are over 18. So, we're gonna get into some sh- I love, by the way, in this menu, the option to quit the game is go outside. That's the best! I love that! But yeah. If you are going- if you are- if you don't have any good memories of your high school life during the late 2000s, you're gonna get it- you're- you're gonna experience some shit in this game! I'm not saying that this game is a realistic depiction of what happened in like the late 2000s, but it does have like kind of like that mean girls culture. You know, that type. We're not going to be playing as a relatable, super nice protagonist. This shit is mean! But I like it that way. We're not going to be playing as good people at all. This game was advertised as the anti-dating sim, or the rejection sim, for... The protagonists are not really looking for love, maybe like the opposite of that. Hell yeah, very realistic. No, it's not realistic. I mean, we're still playing with anime characters and stuff like that, but it's not going to be your typical anime Once dating sim. Gotta say, Zura is a brilliant artist with this model. Hell and yeah. Hats are a brilliant addition. I very much like the hats. Especially how, like, this one becomes, like, pointy. Like a pointy po party hat, like, when I get excited. That's great. Anyways. Let's begin. Make no mistake, I'm a sociopath. Yep. God, that sounded evil. Let's rewind a little. I grew up all over coastal America. Pencil house face. after house Teresa after restraining wars, order. Everything just kind of blends in. If the divorce rate is 50-50, my mom landed on tails like eight times. <laughs> so by the time I was 14, right, I moved from seven different houses and attended six different school districts. After a while, you don't see a point in making friends. The vitamin C graduation song? Yeah, I can't relate. But then one year, all of that almost changed. For the first time ever, I found myself in a school for two consecutive years, going on three. And then I like started turning pretty a month into high school, so the guys hitting on you social leverage was really awesome. Oh. The popular girls would talk to me all the time. But they were just stupid. Oh. They'd always been pretty. Never left out. Never alone. And when I think about it, all the thinking I've ever done was when I was alone. I was nice about it and thought I'd always be nice about it. Finally in one place to build a steady reputation. 
And then life said, fuck that. My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. It's like not even good music. Anyway, so mom was crying, packing up the moving boxes. And that's when she told me, we're moving out of state. And I just got settled. I said, fuck you, I'm living with dad. He's just a narrow <laughs> down. I put the boxes down, go over, knock on the door, and speak. A gunshot! My second Christmas killed himself! What? Floor looked like a whole ass video game, just blood everywhere. And get this, his suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it, Nicole's fault. I'm Nicole, by the way, hi. What the fuck did I do to him? Maybe I missed the office softball game? Men are so into this revenge suicide thing. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Oh! I'm moving. Again. City, county, state. All the same fate. But I've always said that while leaving. This time, it's on arrival. Ah! God, okay. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Oh god. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into like humor and stuff. <laughs> anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's like numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Fuck off, man. Oh. Okay, we can actually choose. Yeah, welcome to class of 09. That's like a little taste, pre-taste of what you're gonna get for the entirety of the stream. Killed himself and put a fucking suicide note with a fucking. Cookie Monster <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't want to talk to that guy, to be honest. I mean, I respect his uh, decision to shoot a shot, but fuck off. I'm gonna be honest. You seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. I didn't say that. Well, wait. Most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run-of-the-mill waste of time. Oh. I don't get it. What'd I do? What? You have time for the whole list? Whoa! I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. No, Why is she dressed like, like Rick and Morty? Rapid fire of assumptions, tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Well, uh, all right. I'll talk to you later then. <laughs> hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day. You sure about that? Whatever. All you hot girls look the same. What? That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. <laughs> Fucking cool. Rock on. So what do you do here? Like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season we went seven and five, like above 500. Not bad. It's my life, pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well. I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool. Seriously? How much? Enough to demotivate an elephant. Oh my I got God. it right here. You want to do it with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. I love that this guy's voice actor does not match his character design. Gotta be honest. Decline the free drugs. Pop perks with him. Now, should I do my first run? There, there's multiple endings of this game, by the way, obviously. Should I just do what I would actually do? Like my own decisions? Like if I had if I was in the situation? Cause like if I was in the situation, I would say like, drugs are not cool. No thank you, man. I'll go cry myself to sleep tonight with no drugs in my system. 
Like, I'd love to, but I kind of make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Exactly. Oh, come on, don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete. People know me here. Yeah, student athletes, kind of the red flag here. <laughs> if I pop too many, I'm going to wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Oh! I have done literally nothing to give you this impression of me. But the hairdo, though. A sleeping teammate's ass. Well, <laughs> like, not in a gay way. Uh -huh. How is that gay? Whatever, I'm going to lunch. It was nice meeting you, <laughs> very straight, non rapist. Oh my god. Friends. Hell yeah, Mickey Friends. Oh, damn, you go, man. Rapists and pedophiles. Tell me about it. Jekka. Oh, sorry, if you're sitting here, I can go somewhere else. Nah, I don't think anyone's showing up. Go ahead. Thanks. What's your name? Jekka. Now, before I ask your That's name, a cool name. I just want to ask what happened to you. Like, it took me two years to figure out the school sucks. You did it on your first day. What's up? Put up, bitch! Claire wanted me to get high. Like, Benadryl or a prescription high? Full-on Percocet, dude. Oh, that's, um... Fuck, what was his name? Kyler, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit of a benzosexual. What? What the fuck's a benzosexual? <laughs> what the fuck is a benzosexual? Attracted to the unconscious. Oh! oh! Well, hi, I'm Nicole. I just dodged a bullet. Cool, hey. Um, so the other guys you gotta watch out for are usually into some form of feet. Of course. Nicole, you ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts. And I got a deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family sized meals? How old is he? Like 26. He just freeloads off my mom. Ooh. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? What? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. <laughs> hey, let's have some more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. Yeah! I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does that even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. That's fucked up. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Uh, huh. <laughs> so where are you headed? <laughs> the fact that this game does not even give me a moment to continue the story. It just keeps fucking going and going and going and going and going. I'm not pressing continue on those dialogue choices. Nice. Hey, Fox Gaming, thank you for the 12 months. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Gym class or photography? Well, considering how much of a bitch my character is, I could go either way, honestly. <laughs> it's like the two of the like the two of them already feel like close childhood friends. Like the bitches attracted each other. Go to photo class. Photography. Photography is fun. What do you mean by fun? <laughs> this game is going rapid fire through the dialogue. Yeah, I was gonna comment how Nicole looked like he, she was dressed for like fucking Rick and Morty. But then she immediately changed outfits the next day. Don't worry about it. Mm. Everyone wants me to go photography. So I will go photography. So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long... I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this What is this year. RPG Dude, maker ass fucking professor? Class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. No. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Avatar for this dream good. Be prepped for peak. Thank you. Uh, DB, thank you for the 16 months. Skip cause he asked you to do manual labor. Fuck manual labor. Oh, hey, I know you. What's oh, up? no. This is the girl's bathroom? Really? Nah, no way. Leave! Hmm, what would bring a girl to the girl's bathroom? Skipping? 
Duh. Now get out. Oh, come on, wait. What class are you cutting? Photography. The teacher tried making me do shit for free, and I am not about that. Base. Photography? Oh, me too. Crazy. The fuck are you so talking even about? If I don't skip, I can't avoid you. Great. You're a cool girl, you know that? What? Oh. I just like you, you know? Uh. Oh, hi, Nicole. You wanna have a sit down with me? You know, talk it up? Nicely say you're not interested. Also, apparently pressing uh, one button in this skips the dialogue, so I am not gonna do that anymore. Let's leave. Hey, stranger. Hi, yeah. You seem drained. What's going on? I just came here from skipping photography. And it didn't go well because... Some fucking psycho was waiting for me in the girl's bathroom. Mm -hmm. I thought they fired that mailman. Uh, <laughs> evidently a different psycho. He was eager to tell me about his taste in music. Oh, sounds like Crispin. Or any of the other Guitar One students. Yeah, I think his name was that. Wasn't really paying attention between the awkward icebreakers and 30 minutes of crying. <laughs> Why was he crying? He wanted to open up to me in a public restroom for like no reason. He doesn't know me. I told him no, and he just wouldn't stop crying. <laughs> he loves me, and no one understands him. Whatever. God, being a girl, it's a gift and a curse. What? I thought I was socially trapped. Hopefully, one no keeps him at bay. With those it types, definitely it won't. Gets. If they know how to reach you, it kind of just doesn't stop. You know from experience? Yeah, not him specifically, but just guys acting all vulnerable so I pay attention to them. Ooh. Sick of it, but what can you do? Commit egregious acts of disrespect. Is that what you did? Uh, now that I think about it, I was way too nice in that whole exchange. How nice? Did you apologize at any point? Did you say sorry? I was pretty cold and detached, I thought. Did. You. Say. Sorry. Fuck, I did. Oh. You dumb slut. I didn't even do anything to him. Why the fuck would I apologize? It's those girl hormones. We're genetically programmed to put up with bullshit. How much longer until graduation? Dominating. 20 months. Can you last? What choice do I have? Make a China ball for the 10. Nice. Nice. Months later. I love that American oh, flag. I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Amazing. Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, mom. You're being nice, right? People. Trying to get along? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. What? Well, sweetie, I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So, I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so <gasps> negatively. All I'm saying is, be inclusive. Give people a chance. What if they're bad people? I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Dude! Yeah, I guess the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Zero, Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, fine. Be woke. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. Yeah, be nice so that people oh, can yeah, give you shit. Princess. That's a good moral, right? Be nice so that people can give you shit. But whatever, now my mom's addicted to heroin again. <laughs> 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 it's exhausting. I thought everyone would just forget about the hangout promises I made oh. over the winter. The thing where you tell them you're really busy for midterms, but should have time in the spring? Yeah, I thought most of them would just forget. <laughs> yeah, when you're hot, they never forget when you're hot. Fuck. I'm hot? You fish for compliments? Whatever, yeah. So not a single free day to myself, having to meet dipshits X, Y, and Z at the mall, or the park, or the diner. What kind of Mormon-ass bitch meets at a diner? They all come <laughs> together, couldn't tell ya. Worst part is, I'm at this point where I'm too nice to even decline the follow-up hangout. We ha we have oh, declined so everything. Fair. Maybe next week, same time. Yeah. So now it's the bullshit I put up with on break combined with the bullshit I put up with at school. Really makes you question the whole point of niceness. Oh, Being fuck. nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Oh Social fuck. Honestly, kind of sucks now. Oh You're fuck. You're sound like that weird kid, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's one of my hangouts this week. Oh my god, you're that far in? That's like church girl nice. Tell him to fuck off. I can't. I feel like I'm at a point of no return. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. That'd 
be so cynical. We'll probably just murder you. <laughs> Dying would be awesome right now, but I feel like there'd be strings attached with him. You're dead. What could he possibly do? Your body doesn't disappear when you die, so whatever his <laughs> twisted little anime brain wants. Ew, okay. Yeah. But if he actually killed you, could I take your body to a taxidermist? Yes. Are you that close? Have fun with your little date. Fuck off, <laughs> bitch! Oh! This game is going places already. I haven't even done this anything. Place, huh? Oh, this asshole! Last time you said that. Sorry, yeah, today's just been wild, crazy. That's the fourth time you said that. Oh, uh, pretty sweet your mom's out of town. You can throw a whole No! Day, right? If I liked people enough to let them destroy my house, then yeah, absolutely. Aw, oh, man, don't be a downer. You kind of remind me of this one girl from a local punk band around here. She kind of gets standoffish, too. Ugh. I'm standoffish? No, no, not like it's a bad thing, just more like the band makes her image that. I, I think they were called, uh, man, I, I can't even think right now. <laughs> I fucking hate Has the stoner. Really only been 20 minutes? Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know. You're actually really pretty. Oh! And like, pretty cool too. You taste music. It's like it's like nothing I've ever heard before. You really know your stuff. I have a depression no, I don't. playlist. I've Sean Kingston on for the last hour. Humble too. Like you're different. I'm not having sex. Either. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fucking you was like the last thing on my mind. Unless you. You've <laughs> worn the same ball palm socks for like two weeks. So oh. that's a no. It's cool if it is. <laughs> God fucking damn it. David Busters! But yeah, it might seem crowded now, but you should see this place on Friday. What? I what? Said you should see this place on Friday. What? Okay. You see me at the hoops machine? I'm sick. You couldn't keep up. Yeah, I really should have taken it more seriously. I'm 17 after all. <laughs> the ski ball machine? Don't take it too hard. I make everyone look trash at it. All of this behavior is telling. Yeah, telling pussy ass bitches to suck my dick. <laughs> I think I should start making rap songs. My dad is a MacBook. <laughs> pussy ass bitch. A diner? The old ass yeah, diner? Season four. Oh Not God. Really personally, how about you? Sorry. I guess. Oh, Animation shit. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins might do it after he graduates from media school. For free? Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join because this will never be made. Well, if you feel that way... Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. Well, you can... But yeah, well, Kelly's a fucking whore and I hope she dies. End of discussion. What the yeah, fuck is going on? How about you, Nicole? Nicole? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted somehow. <laughs> yeah. You've been tuning out all lunch. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. Oh, God. It's like, you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask, so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. How'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway? Because I'm a fucking pushover, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Oh, now don't be a bitch about it. Let's just enjoy our cancerous meatloaf in peace. Fine, sorry. Also, I finally learned how to... Oh, God. Fucking Crispin. What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's gonna be sick with you there. The government is back. The concert was tonight. <laughs> you are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Why would you agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, oh, you God. actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? You have depression, girl. Are you suicidal? <laughs> Don't just ask that. <laughs> Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. <laughs> but you're not just suicidal. You're, like, depressed, too. Maybe you should just blow off that concert. But then I won't hear the end of it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Oh, my God. Easy, asshole. True, yeah.
god. Holy shit. <laughs> well, that's certainly a way out, I guess. You know, I really don't want to go to the concert, though. <laughs> you know, fuck the concert. I'm just going to go home. Okay, that's <laughs> Mom shouldn't be back from her date for another four hours, so that's plenty. Oh my god! Are Following in my father's I footsteps. My wrist dramatically, and this is killing the whole vibe. <laughs> Whatever, I want to die. It doesn't matter how. Nicole, I forgot my wallet. Just getting it. Oh my god, Nicole! Huh? What? What did you do to yourself? Can I just? Die in peace. <laughs> Where's the cordless? I'm calling an ambulance. It'll be okay, sweetie. Yeah, it'd be a lot better if you just fucking. <laughs> Hello? Yes. My daughter attempted suicide. There's blood everywhere. Please send someone. Amazing. I'd like to be happy. Like, happy, happy. Sure, I can have fun, think something's cool, have a good time. None of that outweighs wanting to die. Oh my god! I up in a mental ward until my 18th birthday. So I learned what crazy pills actually do to you. They don't make anyone happier. Just more content with limbo. What sucks worse than killing yourself is fucking up killing yourself. <laughs> you don't get to be a black and white headshot for eternity. You're just really awkward to hang out with. God damn, Nicole! <laughs> Is that it? Is that the ending? Is that the ending? Oh! We fucked up! What is that? Thought you were done after one ending? Not by a long shot! Explore every fate of Nicole and you just might see things her way. Or you're just some loser who gets a trigger response for talking to women! Okay, fuck off! I have to hear about you and you aren't even dead. God damn! Is that the ending that I get just by trying to kill myself? Fair enough. Hey, Ace Gray, thank you for the five dollars. Hi, just got off work. What a screen to join the stream to! Amazing. All right, so let me go do a thing here. Class of 09 Endings. So what we're gonna do right now is gonna hunt for every single ending. And make sure that we don't die along the way. God damn, Nicole. Holy shit. Let's start from... New Game. Make... No mistake. I'm Already so seen this bitch. Up. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> Wow. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like like a school hmm. tour? You want to do that? You up for that? Okay. Humor the school tour. Decline and go straight to class. Tell him off and cut class. <laughs> Thank you. This seems like what edgy Twitter users under 18 think being a teenager is like. And pretty much exactly what a being a teenager is like in the late 2000s. Humor the school tour. Yeah, so then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. Oh my like God. $10, like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? Ooh. I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, <laughs> oh. well... 
Yeah, you know. I know what. <laughs> Thank you. Did did you hear oh about God, how Mountain Dew makes so guys much. sterile? Also yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ah, oh, nice rolling backpack, you fucking four-eyed double dick sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! This oh no! Priceless reading materials. Oh yeah, like what? The like Bernstein Bears make eye contact. Hey, what is this fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? Talk to the shirt, cause the hat ain't listening. Thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay Ooh. out of this, you, you girl. Girl? Double down on the verbal abuse. Watch him get beat up. There's no, no, no option to defend them at all. Just like either fuck him up yourself or watch him get fucked up. Double down. What the fuck, you greasy bitch? I was trying to help you. I don't need help from someone who misnationalizes my Japanese manga books. Ugh. That's literally you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, first time you talk to a girl and you correct her on the origin of your backwards picture books. <laughs> They're not backwards. They just read right to left. <laughs> no one cares. I care. And the YouTube anime community cares too. Like Naru Party 13, he's got 1,600 subscribers. Do you have that many? <laughs> Why would you upload videos to YouTube? How else do you think videos get there? It's for watching TV shows. You don't fucking participate <laughs> in it. What, am I going to go on YouTube and get digitally molested? <laughs> no. It, uh, <laughs> you're going to transform? Whatever. Everything's fine. <laughs> My mom said the bullies go nowhere and smart kids like me become notable adults. Our school the shooters. The thing you could do is killing yourself before graduation. Ooh. And your dad would cry in front of school assemblies next to a black and white photo of you. What? Oh, oh. Little bitch. <laughs> I'm straight. So hey, you're why right. you say that? Cool. What's your name? Well, my last name's You. Most people just call me that. You? What is it like Asian? That's hot. Yeah, Grandma had yellow fever. Cool. I yeah. love that she's immediately lying. So what's your first name? Fuck. Fuck. Oh, you look new. Fuck you. One's you. on the other end there. <laughs> huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long. Hey, now. Jekka. Oh, fuck. For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird Ooh. how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford so much Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Ooh. Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Ooh. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. You have friends? What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. Of That's Avi? Pretty for someone who dresses so preppy yeah my mom works corporate for department stores so i get all this expensive stuff for free but trust me i don't give a fuck cool yeah, same. nicole you ready for day two is someone gonna kill me day two if so absolutely, absolutely. why what happened just like waking up in general hurts and i gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything he can eat family-sized meals how old is he like 26 he just freeloads off my mom i mean we kind right, of freeload right, right, too right. but we're 16 it's cool when we do it exactly i have to tell him that when i'm woken up by loud chewing noises is he fat do you know what ex bodybuilder fat is yeah i kind of know what that looks like well he's an obese monster i was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase he's not that good to know hey let's gossip more at lunch i gotta get to class dude fuck class just skip with me I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? I love that line. Huh. Huh. So where are you headed? 
Okay. This this is one is actually super important to get the different endings. Now, class of 09, which one would you like? Gym class or photography? Gym, 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 gym. <laughs> hmm. Fuck it. Let's go to gym class. Look, it's the first day. No oh, funny. God, I Mario? Comedians. No bringers of the ha, ha okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number, too? Oh, no. <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Go to the locker room and change. Jim sucks. I'm out. I mean, let's try to humor the class a little bit. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirt. What is that 3D fucking Having locker trouble, background? Uh, oh. Can you? You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I uh, thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. Ah! Scream as loud as you can. Humor a literal pedophile. Now... I could get an ending right now. Fuck it, I ain't doing this shit today. Ah! The gym teacher's trying to fuck! Honey, quiet down there. I need this job. He won't yes! Get this minor ass. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing in the girls' locker room? Were you really grabbing some minor ass? Minor, minor as in ass. underage? I think my ass is pretty major, to be honest. <laughs> I've been at this school for 15 years. No one will believe you. The security cameras will. I know installing those spy ca security cameras would screw me over. Spy cameras. This might sound fucked up, but I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. <laughs> I'm definitely happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. <laughs> my mom is like, oh, it's hush money. I'm like, whatever. The media wouldn't pay us nearly this much. Who needs morals when you have designer? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom, I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Yeah, emotionally Excuse disconnected, me? I guess. Like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. Right, <laughs> just completely antisocial. Mean spirited, don't you think? Yeah, well, what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. Damn! Mm, I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, mom? Oh god, Nicole, the feminist I don't know ending. Any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck <laughs> feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Nicoleism. Yeah, the main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Oh, I'm sure you'll meet a nice boy soon and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? Is fucking kids nice, mom? This conversation is over. Thank you, mom, for the. I'm not even gonna humor this. And so you see, the aperture actually gets. Hey, wider rainbow, the rainbow dress, lower nice. The F stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. <clears throat> 
Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay oh, attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I thought it was some gym class. Like two seconds, just calm down. Now, Nicole. Hmm. Passive aggressive eye roll. He can't tell you what to do. You can't tell me what to do. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me. And your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you like a failing grade? What? I mean, uh, everyone? I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like to come to the counselor's office? The principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone. No problem. <laughs> Out. No. Damn. All to why. Again, Nicole. Can we just pretend you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? Stop I'm saying it. if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. <laughs> talking out of turn in class, bullying That's bad. talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? Oh. Shed some light on everyone else. It's high school. Who gives a shit? Huh. I mean... I mean, I could just do the second one, because, like, that's what I would do. Shed the lights! Shed the lights! Alright, fuck it. Say that to all the guys who go here. It's like a co-ed prison without tattoos. Do you think it's a tad irresponsible to point fingers at others when you're the one in question? Nah, fuck them! Aren't you Mr. Child Psychologist? Like, trauma and all that shapes who we are? Well, yes, I have several degrees in pediatric psychology. Isn't that about feet? What's your point? Every dude here is like a rapist or drug addict or trying to turn you into a drug addict. Have you tried stopping the problem at its source? I understand some of the male students here can be problematic, but you can always get help from a teacher or- The teachers are trying to fuck me too. You're all psychotic. A few months ago, Mr. Burliday was really feeling up one of my friends. And just last week, the coach was staring down my shirt during push-up tests. I tried to level with all my students, so can you really blame him? No. <sighs> some of your attire has been quite low cut here. Go on. Go on. To be honest, I've had trouble looking away the entire time. You've been oh! You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding me? Everybody! There's the hidden camera. What show is this? What are you talking about? You're like acting for a prank show, right? I'm waiting for someone more attractive than you to walk in so I can pretend to laugh. Nicole, there's no prank here. Oh, so you're just seriously a pedophile. Awesome. Amazing. Last year, did we ever have our little chat on... Don't! I'm leaving. So fuck photography. And jam yeah. class. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone. Why you got took two belts? It's an art course anyway. Like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. <laughs> Enter Tyler. from stage you right. Talking, Mr. White. Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? Oh, oh, shorts. Damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass thin and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever. Just a little fun on the side while picking up bitches. <laughs> I've been here for a year and never talks. once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh-uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag oh about that? Oh my god. What's like the reason they have women's college? Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah, me too. How did you get one? You haven't even been here that long. 
because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's gonna be so boring if I can't go. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Oh, no. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, <laughs> but could you let me go with you just this once? We don't hang out with rapists on one condition. No, 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 on what condition? <sighs> on what condition? <laughs> uh, maybe, but you need a conversation starter if we're gonna justify bringing you. Like what? Do something impressive this week, like, like, like put something funny on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, actually not a bad idea. Then everybody can watch it at the party. A video of what though? You know where photography is? At magazine studios, duh. No dipshit, the photography classroom. Yeah, what about it? The darkroom has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Ah, uh, just like oh, expel really? him, okay. What do you think, Jacka? I think Mr. White's reaction would be funnier than the video itself, so go for it. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, Mickey, Mickey friends. friends. <laughs> It's amazing how men will do anything just to see us with less clothes on. Oh yeah, yeah make friends. <laughs> oh yeah. So what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer. Oh, I like over, that. So I like no that sweater. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Fuck off, yeah, pedophile. I don't know. Maybe I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out. With Stop. That. You sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later, and we can take some measurements for the Home Ex Sewing Club. We'll make sure it fits seamlessly to your every curve. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Karen! Have a good day at school. Did he just say your every curve? Yeah, is he allowed to say that? What are you guys freaking out about? I think the counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, yeah, and be measured. You fucking you dumb mind? bitch. What else is new? What? What? You've gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I call a marathon pedophile. <laughs> Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Oh! It feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a routine out of it? Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's, That's brilliant, Nicole. What I thought he was gonna do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Ec make it. Home Ec? What are they gonna make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say. That's what a smart doing. name. But yeah, it'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? Sit around and look cute. Same. Same. Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed. Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? <laughs> You're gonna be Amazing. late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it. What the oh, fuck? God get in fucking here? damn There's it, no Jeffrey. Lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A plus in street I'm gonna fucking kill you. Did cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl in public or something? Oh, Nicole, if your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd Ew. understand. I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Oh, wait. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I have captured your sucking wait a second. medium format film. Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? <laughs> I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front humiliating you the way is the guy gonna destroy the photo the photo room because i called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year amazing hey, sorry now throw it out you won't convince me otherwise yeah 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 he's gonna destroy the photo in the huh. photo room wait was i at the wrong locker 
You fucking dumb bitch. He's gonna destroy the photo room. So I'm fucked. No, totally no, no. Fucked. Wait a second, Nicole. Well, no, wait a second, it's Nicole. Just a picture of you in your underwear, like no nipples or anything. Now that you're asking, I'm suddenly worried one might have been halfway out or something. <laughs> Does areola count as nipple? That's a good question. Either way, I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. What future? You say you're gonna kill yourself every other day. Well, I want to go out as a troubled <laughs> oh teen God. philosopher, not some slut in over her head. Even in death, you're manipulative. Sorry if I don't want my legacy to be freaks jacking off to pictures of me. I would die for half the self-esteem of a girl who just assumes the whole school would jerk off to her. Do you think I could, like, persuade Jeffrey to just trash the negative? Yeah, if you had cat ears. And, and we're basically a cartoon. Oh, yeah, he's fucked up, I forgot. May as well focus on damage control. But... Oh, I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. <laughs> but... Yeah, my brother was asking this girl out for, like, three months. Three months? Yeah. Is he gonna actually trash the photography really room, though? Okay, let's just get through the first day of the rest of my ruined life. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the... Yeah! Oh. Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. All these chemicals combined on the floor, too. It's basically mustard gas. All according to plan! Oh, What's going on? Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Jeffrey's given me reason I'm to with believe pwned. you're the one who destroyed the school photo lab last night. Uh, What's no, that fucking Yandre Devass teacher? To kill myself. In my office, now! All according to plan. What's that yandere? Just want to make it clear yandere, one more time that you have no evidence of me doing this. Well, unfortunately, shout out to that rapist. Street, trying to stop him from developing his picture of you, albeit unflattering, is not a reason to destroy thousands in school property. Did you completely glaze over the last ten things I said? He took a picture in the girls' locker room, and I assure you, he'll be dealt with soon. But you'll need to learn how to deal with the consequences of revealing a tire. Destruction of property is not one of them. I was in the middle of changing? You could have been fully nude. It's still unreasonable. What the Wait, fuck? I didn't break anything. Fuck what I was wearing. Out of the ten students we questioned, no one else had anything close to resembling a What mother. am I, in a fucking we'll Ace Attorney game? More. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. Just got to school. I'm signing in late again. In the middle of something here. Oh, with the student? Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. What video? Uh, you don't remember? If I posted a viral video, you'd let me go with you? What is this? Get out. No, wait. It's only like a minute. See? Yeah. Yo, what's up? This is <laughs> photo lab. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? Yo, what's up? Yo, what you up? Are expelled. Well, he was making friends. Did you see Kyler's video? No, what? What's the deal with it? Here, watch it on my phone. <laughs> Crazy, right? Hey, Nicole, hey, Nicole. how's it going, huh? bitch? Yeah, he did it. He really did it. Oh, you manipulative bitch. Well, I got scot free from that one. The music of our year was pretty special when you think about it. Yeah, Soldier Boy wasn't a one-hit wonder. Who knew? Wow, I'm basically I like. Wonder which of them is gonna die first after high school. Fuck. Hey Nicole, I know we had our differences here and there, Sorry. but sign my yearbook. What? What? No, no. Tell him what every girl will tell him in college. Write something mean. I feel like both of those are the same answer, though. Also, what's up with that Punisher t-shirt that I saw you with? Why isn't there just a no? <laughs> the second option is more interesting. I fully fucking bet you that these two are the exact same answers. No. <laughs> what? No. Once again, I can't even begin to describe how proud I am of each and every one of you. Representing your class with a speech, oh. your valedictorian. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. 
Thank you, Principal Lin and the rest of the faculty, declaring me the valedictorian for class of 09. He said it. Schoolwork was he always said important it. to me during my tenure here. <laughs> anyway, perhaps another among us could put it back. Among us. Nicole. That's okay. Nicole, say a few words. Oh, no. First, I'd like to thank our female authority figure, Miss Lynn, along with her cleavage for symbolizing how the men at this school have treated me here. Yay! Like a sex object. <gasps> what are you doing? In my two years here, a good 20% of the staff has either asked me on a date or made some other form of sexual advance. 20% is told low their for this game. And they told me to get my grades up. <laughs> are you out of your fucking mind? I sent my daughter here. What kind of school is this? I'm calling the news. Yeah, Nicole, fuck the system! Oh, oops. I was just dropping off my lost textbook. Chart. Nuclear! Awkward. I was on my way out, just packing. They make you clear the whole room at the end of every year? Uh, no. They make you clear the whole room out after you're fired. Fuck yeah! Whoops. Your apathy won't work on me, Nicole. You're not mad? No, actually. It's been a long time coming. Surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. Did I get the true ending so on my second way through? Come back to bite you. When you fooled around with half your staff, they don't take you very seriously. I know I might seem old to you, but we're actually not too different. Bitch. Using our looks to fuck around with people? That's right. Been doing it since I was your age. Though you really one-upped me. Never letting your emotions trick you into thinking you owed them anything. Rare for a girl your age. How long for you to figure that out? I still haven't. In 39 years. 39 years old and I didn't report teachers for asking students out. Because I didn't want to look stuck up. Sometimes all it takes is one night with someone to feel the need to be loyal. Ooh. Ew, you fucked the counselor? <sighs> Among others. Among us. Well... I guess it only makes sense that men impulsive enough to fuck their boss would also try to fuck kids. I thought you hosted the feminism club. Politics are fashion. We pick it for a sense of belonging, not change. Most of us, anyway. What is that deep quote in the middle of this fuck-ass game? You'll start your own movement. Is she gonna become I fucking have. politician? I thought about what Miss Lynn said for months into my first fully legal summer. The manipulation was still fun. What got harder was the Thank escape you. plan. Now that I was 18, I couldn't just I resort so to calling older men pedophiles for dating me. I slowed down a bit. Maybe I should so start a movement what? that makes Understand my attitude more common. But it'd be a ton of work to promote. And that's when I learned the grand irony of being pretty. It destroys your dopamine levels. You don't want to do shit. Dudes just buy me drinks, give me things, everything. What incentive do I have to try? Is this why women make less? We don't feel like trying? Oh Actually, my God. I want a stat on the women who quit their small businesses. What percent of them are hot? Or what if their business does really well because they're hot? I guess my point is, if our culture is ran by looks, the stats should take looks into consideration. I promise I'll have a political takeaway from my high school years. I just need the numbers. Watching your dad kill himself really fucks you up. <laughs> oh my god. You didn't really watch him do it, you just discovered it afterwards, but... <laughs> An ending! They all run off after getting their diplomas as the Mons go by. I slowly start to realize they didn't talk to me and laugh at everything I said because they liked me. They did it to pass the time while they felt trapped in walls of boredom. This was the real world as I now knew it. Not even admission officers humored me w without any extracurricular clubs on my transcripts. No one would ever let me in one. I have been working at a gas station to pass the time. Someone who laughed at me in school pulled up with a fancy car, trying to avoid eye contact as much as they could. Do they feel guilty? Or maybe just past the point of looking for comic relief, I guess. 45 seconds at the pump isn't enough time for novelties like me. Ooh. I love Nicole, no filter, all sass. Well, yeah, she's a psychopath, though. 
You should probably not be rooting for her. At the same time, everyone else around her is way worse than her, though. So I guess that's why you kind of, like, root for her. I don't know. She's a horrible person. But I kind of- I'm super fucking entertained by the shit she says, though. If you view yourself and Nicole, you have issues. I think everyone has issues. That's the problem, isn't it? I'm rooting for her. Fuck what anyone else thinks. Okay, chat, yeah, you may be falling into the trap of rooting for the psychopath because everything else is worse around her. Don't do that. I'm just kind of entertained by the clown shit. What else should we do now? I guess we can let ourselves get molested and see where that e ends up. Hmm, I guess we can go to the concert near the suicide ending. You can't fix her! Hmm. Let's try to humor the photography club and see where that leads us. Make no mistake. I'm a sociopath. Yeah, sociopath, psychopath, hey, whichever so one. For the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars? What's the we back sink option? Them? Hey, so for the senior oh, prank there we this go. year, what if we like parked our cars go. where we don't usually park them? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I could show you around, like like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Decline and go straight to class. School tour. Um, that sounds. Nicely mediocre, but I'm just gonna go to class. See ya. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm Crispin, by the way. Yeah, we should hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. All right, bye. Yeah. Fuck off, Crispin. Oh, you must be new. Yes, please take a seat next to Jeffrey. Oh! Hey. hey, so, uh, I guess. I guess we're lab partners, huh? I guess. I guess. Not a big talker, are you? I don't know you. Are you just chummy with everyone you meet? Not everyone. But if they look the type to like anime, they may as well, right? I'm sorry, I look like I like anime? How do I fix that? No, no, it's a good thing. It means you're cool and different. No. And 300 pounds. What was that? Oh, nothing. Was just converting British currency in my head. Cool, see? Um, well, the teacher said I'm Jeffrey. What's your name? This freak is not getting my name. Pretend to be nice. Well, the problem is, we already know where that second option gets us. Straight to suicide. But at the same time, I am gonna have to be sitting with him for the rest of the class. Date him? No! He took pictures in, of girls in the bathroom. What do you mean, be nice to him? This is probably gonna get age restricted. Oh, you fucking bad bitch. Yeah, I'm not gonna give him my name. What, so you can look me up on MySpace or something? No thanks. Well, we're gonna get to know each other anyway, right? Fuck, probably he knows not. It. Probably after this week, we won't even talk anymore. I've moved to a lot of different schools, so I'm fully aware you're using the New Kid Grace period. Ooh. What's New Kid Grace period? Ugh. <sighs> It's where the outcasts squeeze all the interaction they can out of new kids way above their social status. So when the new kids get here, it's awkward. They don't know who's who. They'll humor any conversation or friendship until they find the people on their social level. Ooh. How do you know I'm not on your social level? Fucking look at you. Listen to how you talk. How do you know I'm not? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything. I know. It's what you will do. I've had my ear talked off about comics, laser swords, lowering the age of consent, ninja hand signs, <laughs> just all that weird shit. You know, the other pretty girls here are a lot nicer than you are. I doubt they that. I talk to you because it's funny. Get a clue. Yeah, a lot of people say I'm funny. That's oh, you're pathetic. Funny? Tell me a joke. Oh. Well, it's more like in the moment you had to be there kind of funny. Okay, Jeffrey, you Oof. want me to save you years of guessing? Yeah, sure. How? They're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you because they'll never have sex with you. <laughs> a lot of the girls here said they're saving themselves for me. Crazy. Are you stupid? Yeah, they're kind of easy if you ask me. No, it. Uh, believe what you want. I'm going to lunch. <laughs> yeah, Nicole. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm funny. I know I am. Oh my god. 
That's kind of sad. God, the food here is tragic. Even the air has preservatives. Fucking tell me about it. That's why yeah, Jekka, how's it oh, going? Didn't see you. Nah, it's okay. You can sit here. I'm Jekka. Where are you in from? Uh, chemistry, I think. I don't know. I didn't really do anything. Oh, that sucks. The yeah, Jeffrey you really like villain arc. You before you can touch your food. I'm not eating anyway. The guy I had to sit next to scared my appetite away. Pretty much just me away in general. Who was it? Do you know? Fucking um, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh, yep. He's a fun one. But he's so, like, overly chummy. That's fun to you? No, like, fun to fuck with him, duh. Oh. Freshman year, every girl put love notes in his locker, right? Oh, no. So he went up to some of the girl's boyfriends, like, ah, she's in love with me now. Ah. Oh, God, that's funny. Because they were all, like, 14, three guys just beat the shit out of him for it. Now we have all these stupid anti-bullying rules. <laughs> I never got how they could, like, enforce that. It's baby simple. If you don't want to get bullied, just be hot and sociable. Fucking accurate. I'm Nicole, by the way. Well, I'll see you around, Nicole. Bye-bye, bitch. Nicole, you ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. I, I would what like happened? to know if that's Just possible like, in this game, probably, right? Hurts, and I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? No, I can like skip this 26. one. So where are you headed? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna go to gym class, but what happens if we avoid the pedophile by just not going into the locker room? Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the haha, -ha, okay? Wait, what? Wait. No. So where are you headed? Ah, shit. Gym class. Look, it's the first day. No. I'm fit as young lady. Nicole. This is no good. Now everybody there better we go. dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Fuck you. So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. Oh god, I'm stuck with him again. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, "What's up, Doc?" No, it's just this general, "Ha ha, I'm random." Cartoon Channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. <laughs> huh, cause I like some wild porn here and there. <gasps> you probably couldn't handle it. Time for a vicious reality check. See if he'll actually tell you. See if he tells you? All right, fuck it. Yeah, you know what? Let's see. Let's see what late two thousands weird porn shit is about. I know some weird porn shit. L l fuck. Okay, you know, Jeffrey, fucking hit me. Try me, huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. Are you are you into feed? Is that gonna be weird for you, motherfucker? Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Uh huh. Well, I wanna know. Uh huh. Uh, everybody knows the coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend who can keep up with me. Ooh. Uh, uh, all right. See me at lunch today. Maybe we could talk about it then. Hey, Nicole, so Nicole you know about awesome. food ad? Do we have food ad? Someone to share my escapism with. Oh, God. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut stepdad. I think he was in Iraq or something. Doesn't matter anyway. I think mom's already looking for a new oh, guy. Oh, he's already beginning to trauma dump. Great. Porn and firearms, what could possibly go wrong? What was that? Oh, just, I've wanted a chat like this for so long. Ugh. So you like him how much taller than you exactly? At least like 12 feet taller. Oh, Preferably he's into 50. the giant test fetish shit. With only two of her fingers. Oh, that's basic bitch bullshit. Again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone what to see that either. Bitch. This is cool. What else? Really? Uh, well, I like it when cute girls walk all over me. <laughs> huh. You know, most people hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I Fucking mean, normie. literally walk all over me. Love to be stepped on by a cute pair of feet. Well, hey, beat stepping on a scale, right? But yeah, unfortunately, most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime. 
the realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50 foot tall vixens. Yeah, oh, he's a furry too. Hard, dude. Did I mention how I liked girls with cat ears and tails? Do they meow when you have sex with them? Well, I wouldn't know. <laughs> haven't done one yet. I haven't done anyone. No, before. Nicole, Nicole, don't. Shocker. Don't. Okay, yeah, we're no, 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 Nicole, we're not going through this now. Don't do that. Don't do that. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. Excuse me? Oh, messed up much? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Oh, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. God Again, damn, I'm sorry. Jekka. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, Ooh. how'd you? <laughs> Maybe if you took your shoes off and stepped on his face. Oh, no, Nicole. She told everyone. It's okay, Jeffrey. Run away with me. I'll stuff you in my back pocket. Oh. Stop. He's spicy today. Meow. Okay, I kind of feel bad for him, even though he's a weirdo. Oh, no. So again, while I find the notes flattering, the boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. <laughs> I'll start tracking who left them if it continues. <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. <laughs> oh, God. Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed oh, of Oh, God, he has to punish your t-shirt. Thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative forms of sexual intercourse does not mean he should Ooh. be ridiculed. Oh, my God. Uh. Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative oh god jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by women who look like cats as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman Ooh. will this stop class dismissed for how long has this been going on oh god you did this oh god what told everyone my darkest secrets that was in confidence guess i did sorry you ruined my life. I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Oh, no. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Oh, shit, boy! If I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm going to take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, okay, at least it's not the school shooter or anything. You chose to start this. But I won't give you a choice in stopping it. Don't fucking guilt trip me into fucking blaming me for trying to kill yourself. Fuck off, bitch! I'm sorry, did you think I have any form of emotional attachment to you? Why else would you have talked to me in the first place? Why would you have lunch with someone you don't like? It... It was funny. I knew you'd say some embarrassing shit. So you used me. You were a new student trying to look cool. So you just used me. No shit. In what world does a girl like me take interest in you? If you're that fucking stupid, maybe you should kill yourself. Oh! Fine. I'll give you your satisfaction. But not before getting mine first. You're the only girl I ever loved. Fuck off! Even if it wasn't real. You knew me for two days. Bye! Bye. Yeah, f you don't fun know what the fuck love is. I would have left a note, but there's only a two-second window between staring oh, at the girl with the a gun school and shooter at day. I'm not even mad I'm dead. Through all the news coverage that'll cry about me for a week and him for a century, it might be best for both of us they rarely get the facts straight. 
They'll tell you I was a sweet, innocent girl who'd never turn an entire school against the anime kid. Yeah, They'll the left picture! He was a twisted mastermind who didn't want to fuck fictionally tall women. So yeah, he seems cooler than me now. But try talking to him. Ooh! <sighs> At least Nicole died for making this monster. Hey! Fuck! Let's read that note. I recall watching the news after VT happened last April. Between the rambles of gun control, an NRA member looked into the camera as if he was trying to talk to kids like me. I'm paraphrasing. If you're a student and feel alone, threatened, frightened, or inferior, lashing out at the world with fatal violence like this is not the answer. I don't want to kill them because I'm lonely. They just need to a wake-up call. Most classes I sit alone. No one speaks to me. Last week, a girl who gets plenty of attention for her looks was venting to the teacher about how she didn't fit in, mentioning she only knew her boyfriend and that's it. Isn't that great irony? I'm light years from getting anything close to a girlfriend. She sees no one... She sees no one talks to me, yet vents right in front of me about how little she has socially. I'm not jealous. Just sick of the ignorance she and many others exhibit. Their cozy little world, I want to destroy it. I want to destroy it and look them in the eye while I do it. I want them to remember me. Fuck. The fact that Jeffrey is not even a good person makes me not want to pity him, though. God, what a game! I respect the balls, honestly. Alright, where else shall we go from here? I'm just gonna play Metopia! Fuck you! Grabs you by the collar! You're seeing another ending with me! We're not stopping until this is done, baby! Phil respects the balls. This should be a drinking stream. I don't think I would like to drink while watching The Worst of Humanity by the late 2000s, thank you. Oh, the misery. Everyone wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Everyone wants to be my enemy. Oh, fuck, I should have put that in the intro of the stream. Or would that get me copyrighted? I mean, it would, but at the same time, it's a good fucking song. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna cue that up for the end of the stream. Cause that song is perfect for this. All right. How many endings do we have left? Ooh, that's a lot. We can get the white power ending. Huh? All right, fuck it. Let's go with white power. Make no mistake. I'm a sociopath. Hey, so for the senior prank this year? Oh my god! That <laughs> no, 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 no! I, I could show you around, like like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? I'm gonna be honest. You seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well. You um, and a girl like you I'm in a fucking cool doesn't pay well I'm a how can you make lacrosse your life there's no pro league for it is there well I'm sure they're out there enough to demotivate an elephant I got them right here you want to do them with me they only kind of get you fucked up but it's good hmm do you want to go do you, you guys want to do drugs with a rapist I want to see what happens Free Percocet? Hell yeah, hand it over. This is actually my Mexican cartel supply, but it probably won't kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm making my friends. Feet feel great. I could fall asleep standing right now. Yeah, I told you it was good shit. Good shit. I'm sorry, are we lost? Both of you should be in class. This isn't a skip period. Oh fuck. Uh hey dude, we were just on our way, you know? What are you hiding there? Oh shit. Prescription oh, fuck. pills? Whose are these? 
Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble. But it, there's prescription, though. Pin it on the other guy. Avoid getting murder for snitching. Yeah, because of the drug cartel. I mean... I would prefer not getting murdered, but also I would get trouble in... I would get trouble and I would have to go to the counselor's office, so... Snitches get stitches? Pin it. Pin it on the rapist. Let's see what happens. Wait, wait, what? Oh, don't play dumb. I didn't do anything. I was on my way back from the bathroom and this guy just stopped me trying to sell his... For second? For... Per um, second. I don't know, but he won't leave me alone. Oh, come on. Trying to find yet another customer, huh, Kyler? Come with me. Bro, what the fuck? You're seriously believing that? What the fuck? I don't want to hear it. Come with me. <laughs> I love You're this guy's voice actor. You're such a bitch, dude. Like, not cool. Piss off, bitch. Oh, lunchtime. <laughs> that was the ultimate What a sociopath. Man. Hey, uh, are you okay? What? Oh, no, I'm good as shit, dude. I don't feel great. Just nice. Nice. So, is anyone else gonna be sitting here, or...? Oh, sit here all you want. I'm new here, I have no say. Cool, thanks. Um, I'm just gonna say it. Are you fucked up? Uh, Are you? Emotionally, absolutely. Based. I'm not rich enough to turn down free Percocet. Yeah, that lacrosse guy loves the new girls. Did you pocket any? Can I have one? No, it got broken up real quick. A teacher caught us, and I just pinned it on him. That's fucking badass. What's your name? I'm Nicole. Besties! But don't say that really loud. I don't want these people to know me. Don't worry, I know. So, what electives are you taking? Uh, like, uh, is English an elective? It should be, but no. <laughs> okay, then. It was photography. Me too. We might be in the same class. Amazing. Okay like to get that excited about it yeah we might be oh you're too cool for school well no right now i feel warm as hell have you popped perk it's a blanket and a pill hey nick I thank you for the five dollars i just found out that's a sequel you Turns thought you should know that yeah sensors. absolutely you just feel nice and cozy you're fun yeah friendship Nicole, you ready for day two is someone gonna kill me day two if so absolutely well, just he, I'm ex is he fat yeah, dude, I told I'd be so where are you headed? Well, she did say she wanted to go photography, so photography? So to not make the intro to beginners photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your shots looking superior by the end of this year. Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. All right, let's actually engage with the class. Roll your roll your bleh, 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 bleh. roll your eyes while agreeing. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. Please, no, not What's this Nicole? time. Not you. Not Mr. White. You can call me Mr. White. But my friends call me Mr. Shooter. What? Okay, Mr. White. So what's first? Amazing. Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. No, 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 else. not again. Yeah. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. <sighs> it's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. No, 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 I do no. I do freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least $500. Naked? No, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Is he good? Oh, so just wearing lingerie and baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay, but the I can't read situation him. is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. Fuck that! Find the most expensive restaurant in town and do it. Well, if I'm gonna get food, I might as well get the fucking most expensive shit. You know what? Sure. sure. Oh, splendid. A I nice can't get a read on this guy. Outing. Just me and my new beautiful student, Stop Nicole. it! I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. 
Well, he bend over to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's settled. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home Googling expensive restaurants. And a clever girl at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, he okay, used the word bye. complexion. That's it. Wonderful. Your pure skin just wonderfully yeah, no. out into the He's a white supremacist. Behind you. Yeah, thanks. Could you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. He's not a pedophile. He's a racist. Okay. So, what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic WPP. Cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements He the said heritage and complexion. You. He's a part of the Whatever KKK. So, are we done yet? And His name is literally yes, what? Are, <laughs> it was a pleasure, Nicole. The pleasure was all yours. Uh, so, there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and Yes, yes. I'll hold up my end of the deal. Don't Amazing. Worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask no! no, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Go back. No, sorry. Al I mean... Yes, yes, I'll hold up my end of the deal, don't worry. But before we leave, I just wanted to ask you... Do you enjoy being white? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. True. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Proud! Fake yes to get free food faster. Question his questions. Oh no. Oh no. Can I question his questions? Oh no. I mean, like, I'm used to the pedophile shit, but the white supremacist. When Batman games stream. <laughs> I'm not used to this line of thinking. Uh, question him. Like, no, yes, who cares? Why are you so into whiteness? Sorry, I guess the questions have been a tad much. There's just something about the color white. And it's not just my Wait, last name. Is he White's a pretty boring color to be honest. He's not even a white supremacist. He's boring, like just pure. Huh. You're a photography student. Think of it like a You know, cow. usually racist you hate like other races. This guy just seems to have like a fetish for the color white. Then you put it back on and focus. The shapes seen are merely obstructions. Sullying. This is so fucking weird even for racists. What does this have to do with anything? It's just a metaphor for... He's not even racist, he's just fucked up! Country. Oh, yeah, no, he's racist. We focus on other cultural obstructions so God. much that we allow them to mix with and tarnish the initial whiteness that started it all. Huh. Yeah, I think I might get it, but could you give me an example of a cultural obstruction? Rap music. Oh! Huh. <laughs> Hey, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher is a white nationalist. Yeah, think? I said the tuna is good today, and you just replied with that. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. What the fuck? White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists politicize that. I didn't even know that. So he's... Mr. White is a white nationalist. Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. I didn't know oh. that. That makes sense. Huh. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a shit. This is what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like educational what? stream Even if we told someone they won't do anything if being racist got you fired like no one would have a job well i'm kind of curious now i think i'll go up and see what he's all about what I catch him on something else you coming with me he knows you right let's go fuck with the white nationalist 
non-racist girls gotta stick together. I'd rather see if the Jenner is selling Sanex. I kind of want to see if the Jenner is selling Sanex. Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough. You can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it, or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? You're such a bitch. How? Stop racism I don't see a white nationalist or drugs. I already have to. You got me all worked up over this, and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend? Wait, you want to solve a mystery I've here? I've known you for like a week. We're the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. <laughs> that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. I'll see you after school. Yeah, loyalty may check. As well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, God. Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with that, Why are honey. you saying it like that? <laughs> the counselor is... Well, you'll see. Ah, fuck it. We're already used to pedophiles at this point. See, Nicole? Doesn't it just feel great to openly talk about sex in a safe environment? No, actually. Not at all. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach, really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number one thing on your mind. Sure. Talking about sex with a man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind. Merely a societal taboo. Oh, definitely a marathon event. pedophile. Huh? Take homophobia, for example. Excuse me? That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong. Oh, with shut the fuck up. 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 What's the next taboo to be? Oh, I hate this guy so fucking much. Outside of school. Here we go. Yeah. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of my age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. Uh, At the end of the day, love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? Are you dialed in here? I'm going to dial 911. Yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. What's wrong? Good job, Nicole. Call out his pedo philosophy. Talk about something way cooler. Call him out. Fuck him. You work at a school and you're giving me the age is just a number speech. Shouldn't you do that on your court date? Sorry, I don't play tennis. What? Hilarious. Perhaps you're just not ready for an adult conversation. You're still growing after all. Blooming as a young woman. Yeah, so I'm off limits. Are we done here? Well, one last food for thought. Your driver's license may say you're still a girl, but your body knows you're a woman right now. Reproduction. What? Because I have a period? Not to get graphic, but yes, nothing wrong with this. This game makes me want to say, natural. "Fuck this crap! I'm out." So exactly you angry. At thirteen, then? No, just intercourse at thirteen. The baby coming by the time you're fourteen. Oh, I'm this leaving. this guy is like this guy has some fucked up view of the world. Hmm. If she tells her parents, I'll just say she was acting out. <laughs> Amazing fucking acting, Jesus oh, hey. fucking Christ. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't, uh... What do you think? Pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? This was before would, Discord was invented. Then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him. No, 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 well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. She's so I was going to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. <laughs> and what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? She got paid. Well, bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. <laughs> Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? A country where all the non-white races are kind of exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. All I know is I'm proud to be white. Oh! I agree to disagree like a fence-sitting liberal. 
Hmm, maybe it's not so bad after all. <laughs> god, fucking die. I love this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Agree to disagree like a fed sitting liberal. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. I'd rather have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Oh. Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye. God damn, Mr. White! Who our third president was? Show of hands. Yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had sex with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> now, who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? No hands? Okay, Nicole. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his achievements. You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. <laughs> At least try. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? I don't know. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Uh, what? <laughs> Is that the first time you ever heard that? You can't force me to care about any of this. You'll care when your SAT scores come back. I'm not taking the SATs. You only need that if you're going to a four-year college. Oh, so you're not going to college then. Think you have it all figured out. Why would a girl pay 40000 a year to get raped by a frat boy? Ooh, that line. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Uh, yeah, I'm hilarious. Get more laughs than you. Nicole, get it together! The government forces me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn, God Nicole! Damn it, team keeps fucking losing, so fucking gay! <laughs> What's your problem? You fucking whore! Shut up! Hey, coach. He's high? Okay, no discipline for that one. Go on. I did get into lacrosse camp. Such bullshit. Oh. Well, maybe just get better at it. No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that like 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the fucking red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean like affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. Oh I God, not the Bolka guy. Who fucking cares? Say you love rap music. It's spreading. The f Mr. White is spreading it! That sentence is a mix of contradictory shit. Hmm. You know, I. I. I was. Who fucking cares, man? Just shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a shit but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. Base. Can you just assume you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Fucking women gotta go too, dude. I'll <gasps> move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Sorry, what country is that? I just said, the Middle East? For such a smartass, you don't know books too good. Oh! But well, that's beside the point. Just get your grades up, Nicole. Uh-huh. And also, if you could stop writing death to pedophiles on all the whiteboards, that would be great. Promoting violence is so vulgar. Shut but the don't fuck pedophiles up. Pedophiles deserve to die? Nicole, no one deserves to die. Shut the fuck wow, up! That's really peaceful of you. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it pedophilia? Oh, how dare you! <laughs> you didn't say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. Goddamn! You almost got me that time. What? <laughs> it's obvious, dude! Oh, cool, you joined too? Yeah, it's my heritage. I have to support it. But do you think the cross is kind of stretched out on my shirt? No, it looks oh, fine. Oh, God, oh, no. this is horrible. I'll Mr. White to trade it in for a swastika shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole, where's your hair? Not you too! You know, to support this grand cause? 
grand cause. No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is like, we're just fucking down for our heritage, fucking you know? <laughs> Why would I care Mr. About White! That? When you think about it, everyone's kind of against us as white people, you know? There's nothing more punk rock than being white. The only people in punk rock are white. Yeah, so come on, Nicole. Are you gonna join or what? You're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party. We'd love a pretty girl like you to become one of us. Sorry, um, what are the benefits? Benefits of what exactly? White nationalism? Like, what's in it for me? Well, you get these kick-ass shirts for one. Free shirts! I know what's in it for me. Before, everyone just avoided me. Like I was a freak or something. This feels like a community but then episode. Jeff saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party. Check I really belong somewhere, and you can belong too. So for you, it's a club for easy social acceptance. All right. Well, kinda. But everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. Jekka so, can really influence this. the school. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun? To socialize? Or to give you pride party orders? <laughs> uh, well the orders are fun, so kind of both. See how racist he'd be with female attention? Get a video of this mess. Can I save? Oh, I can save. Ah, shit, I've neglected the save system for, like, the entire stream. Get a video of this mess! So, what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it? Just so I could review at home and practice? Oh, so that you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. All right, oh boy, you better Nicole. start rolling. Aryan brothers, assemble! Yo, we doing the chant? Hell yeah, we're doing the chant. White pride worldwide. White pride yeah, worldwide. Awesome. Yeah, pride this is awful. Great, guys. So how about it, Nicole? You gonna join? I don't know. You really made a convincing argument with this. Can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. What's she planning? I do more chants too, if you'd like. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. What's she planning? What's she planning? Oh, God! Nicole, what are you planning? Okay, let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Oh! Dope. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. Shared to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire school. Sick. He kind of just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real Farrakhan, you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. Ooh, well, again, they got cleansed one way or the other, am I right? <laughs> Holy shit, like bleach. What is this email? Can they all, can they call it a hate crime when everyone had to go? <laughs> okay. Let's see what the other option offers us actually, now that I actually saved the goddamn game. See how racist he'd be with female attention. You know, Jeffrey, this might be sudden, but like, you want to take me out later? No! I couldn't do that, Nicole. What? Unless, of course, Mr. White told me to. No, I mean, like, take well, me That's out on your on mind date? first, right? D date? You mean, like, dinner and hugging and kissing? Yeah, all of it. But Nicole. you're busy with all this white pride stuff, huh? Oh, uh, well, not that busy. I got to egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could make time. The fuck's uh, a synagogue? You know, this Friday is like my only free day for the next, like, forever. So damn, too bad. W what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, what's up? Long time no see. Yo, Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind traitor. you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that... Oh my god, I don't Synagogue is a Jewish so place of worship. Oh, Seriously, fuck, you Jeffrey, fuck man. Up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka. 
but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now I got but free pussy, am I right? Me out. Well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. <laughs> Dude, what? You little fucking race traitor. Mr. White trained me for this moment. What? Area no! Students, Imperial Jacob, no! Jacob. How may we serve you? Oh, fuck! Henry here is no longer our brother, and he must be eliminated. Take care of him. Chica, what the fuck? I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little business here, but you wanna hang out after school? Are you she's actually so just gonna into it. Right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! Wow, Jacob became way worse than Mr. White. Is he just dead? So... How's Mr. White Let's doing? Let's go, I'm bitch. Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey, so I take it he's pretty happy. But can I vent? Like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. <laughs> yeah, fatal excommunications, definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with you. Why? Still, always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last Yeah, they he actually asked? killed him. He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. No, about <laughs> me. Always about you. Okay. Well, he wasn't really asking, just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? No. It's so obvious you dye it, right? Right. Jack is so fucking scary in the white supremacist road. It's been about three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit, they killed Jeffrey. The literal FBI. The literal FBI. All the white nationalists. The end, right? Well, see, like 95% of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. No teachers, no students, no school. Jekka Obama! Polaroid of herself in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid shit. Oh my god, the sending! Hot damn! This game is awesome. I really do wonder sometimes if I was the only one who joined for the feeling of friendship, feeling like a part of a clique. Sure, it is classified as a hate group, but it was the only group that pretended to love me. Jesus Christ, that's dark. When you know you're hopeless, pretending is all you can hope for. Who's writing these messages? Is this Jeffrey? Huh. Shit, now I gotta do- apparently there's another version of that ending. But now I have to like skip through all the dialogue to get in. Eh, let's try it and see- Let, let's just see where we go. Let's fuck it. We still have a lot of options to go through. Let's hear where we go. Make no mistake. I'm a sociopath. Hey, so for the senior prank thing, <laughs> no, 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 I, I could show you around, like, like a school tour. <laughs> Enough to demotivate an elephant. <laughs> Prescription pills? Whose are these? Actually, it doesn't matter. You're both in big trouble. Avoid getting murdered for snitching. In trouble? Fuck you, I'm not in anything. Uh, yeah, you definitely are in trouble. Well, you're in the Model Train Fan Club, you freak. I'm not in the That's Model weird. Train Fan Club. I just sponsored the Model Train Fan Club. <laughs> That's even worse. You look new here. I'm not sure Model what trains you are think nice. you're doing, but I can assure you it won't last long. A bitch can't pop perks here? What the fuck? What if I had glaucoma? But you don't have glaucoma. And you just confessed to drug use on school grounds. Come with me. Both oh, of you. no. Honey... 
is wrong with you? <laughs> a two-day suspension on the first day of school? It was Wait. Like one pill. He's just mad I made him feel insecure, so he threw the book at me. Look, I know you're acting out because Honey. of your father. Mom, what the fuck? no one ever has actively thought, I'm going to act out today. What does that even mean? I'm going to look cool by disrespecting my parents. This is a world you and everyone who crochets created. Oh. She kind of has a point with that, Bob. You kind of <laughs> like a fucking logo. You're 26. I told you the economy's bad. Blame Bush. And these girls I chat with online fully agree. Oh! Still, I can't believe you're taking the school side with this. It's totally against all my citizen rights. They had you sign something that waives those rights. You're 16. You don't even have rights. Well, you do. This family's right? fucked up. school or something. You're at the only public school for miles and miles. What happens if you're gone for good, huh? I'm not moving again. I'm not paying for private school. And I'm definitely not homeschooling. Fine, I won't blow it then. I won't squeal a bit. A teacher could just break the shit out of me, but I won't say a word because we got to stay in this shithole. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. What? Um, I could just get assaulted? You wouldn't care? You've been pulling the sexual assault card since you were 12. Hasn't happened yet, has it? That's not the Damn. fucking point. Well, you can figure out a new excuse locked in your bedroom Fuck for this the next mother. two days. Fine. I have my own computer. Grounding doesn't do shit anymore. I mean, yes. Yeah, right. baby, you hear this? This is some real music. Now join this... my party chat and we can game. What, what the fuck are you doing? It's 1 a.m. I go back to school tomorrow. Bro, you're being seriously fail right now. I hate this guy. Seriously fail. Those words don't even go together. You sound like an idiot. Look, I'm just recording a little voice message for this hottie I met online that I'm done, okay? This is like the fifth hottie in two days. Do you know how old any of these girls are? <gasps> like, legal in her country. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is bad. This is super I'm just bad. Trying to score some 15 year old Canadian ass. This is Pop super bad. Me. 15 isn't legal anywhere. Calling her Canadian ass doesn't make that better. Well, no. You know how, like, Canadian bacon is just ham? C Canadian ass is just a mature 15 year old. See? Same thing. You're. Oh my god. Could you just help me record this message so we can both go to bed quicker? Distract him into doing something else. Make him gone for good. What does that mean? Can we make him go for good? What's the point? Whatever girl you're hitting up is probably ugly compared to what I could find. You haven't even seen her avatar. She's like so <laughs> hot. Where are you logged in at? I bet I could find a better one. You're on. What the fuck does that mean? See? This girl right here. Kinky Kenzie 93. Her bio's like, only interested in older guys, so hit me up whenever, up for anything. Man, she's sexy. She's also 14. Shut up with that ageist bullshit. <gasps> oh man, she's just a town over too. I'm gonna message her, what should I say? Oh you're no, like we're gonna make adult. him disappear. You know this by now? Yeah, but you're a girl. You know what girls wanna hear, come on. All right, fine. Let's make him um, disappear. First tell her you're 26. Girls who like older men are all about that age difference. Discord mod time. Okay, what else? Say you want to buy her drugs and alcohol. And no pussy shit, like full-on heroin. I'm sure other guys promise that too, though, right? When guys hit you up, what do they never do? Hmm. Oh, at the bottom, type an acrostic poem using your driver's license number. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, have the message of the poem be about how you don't want to use a condom. Dude! <laughs> That's like genius. She's gonna so want the D. We're gonna make him disappear. Yes! Whoa, what do you want? Are you dating side user heavy D no MC? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know what that has to do with you busted in here. By the way, that's like a sick user name, right? You're under arrest uh, for uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, that Kenzie bitch snitched me out. God damn it. Hell Rest yeah. Assured, there was no Kenzie. We can talk all about how you fell for a sting operation downtown. I was set up. Fucking Nicole, you bitch. My first phone call is going to be a bomb threat to your friends. This game is awesome. My big mistake wasn't getting suspended, but getting suspended on the first day before meeting anyone. Now I can't look badass when I come back. Hey, what's up? I haven't seen you around for a couple days. Fuck off and die. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, you don't look familiar at all. Are you new here? Hey, Jekka. Yeah, I'm back from a two-day suspension. It's the third day of school. I don't beat around the bush. You're cool as shit. What's your name? Hell yeah, Jekka. Hey, I'm Jekka. 
So, how do you know Crispin? Who's Crispin? That guy you were just talking to. Oh, guitar pick necklace? Both days I've been here, he's tried talking to me. I have no idea who he is. He's kind of nice. I wouldn't be surprised if he burned down a convenience store, but yeah, he's nice. I'll tolerate just about anyone after being locked up with my brother for two days. Oh, is he younger? Into really loud, violent video games? Close. He's 26 and into really loud, violent video games. Oh, that's tragic. He lives at home still? Yeah, he's never even attempted couch surfing. Oh. Can he get, like, a boyfriend to live off or something? Oh. No, he's not gay. At least not that kind. What does that can mean? Can he, like, turn gay and get a boyfriend to live off? Fucked up. I asked that exact same question, and all he said was, bottoms don't top FPS leaderboard. <laughs> oh, so he's, like, really into video games. Is he one of those guys that, like, end up on the news for messaging kids? Last night, he Fun begged a 15-year-old for naked pictures. Oh, my God. He's that guy. Is he in prison yet? Uh, we'll see. Hey, I'd love to hang around more, but I gotta get to class. Where are you headed to? Okay, back to the- So, that wasn't an ending. That was literally just an entirely different path where he just sent our brother to prison. This game is awesome! Holy shit! Back to here, I guess. Save, Phil. Okay. Save up. Sure. Hmm. All right, so now we've done that. Let's go. Mm, I don't want to. I want to do the gym class again. But all the stuff with Mr. White leads to like white nationalist endings. Stop Jekka from becoming racist. What if we join her? So to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long, I'll simplify it by saying I'll have your sh- Dude, so you- Quite observant to make up for- For your tardiness, perhaps you can help me out in the dark room. I need- Sorry, I did didn't even catch your name. Ah, shit. I don't know how fully Sorry. to skip this. Uh, okay. You'll get a free meal of your choice. Fuck that. See, I feel really bad about this, but sorry, I can't. Your pitch was so good, too. Oh, well, no hard feelings, Nicole. I'd love to make it up to you and do some cleaning in here anyway. Oh, thanks. I need to get back to my class introduction. While I'm out there, maybe you could reorganize the developers. No problem. Thanks. No, thank you. That was a weird interaction. Okay, huffing at least one of these should get me fucked up, right? <laughs> Months later. So, it's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or You're not going to talk about your brother? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom... I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, okay, we've seen this. Excuse me. Like, I'll put it like this: anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, yeah, we've and seen I, this honey, already. Yeah, what's the <sighs> so you're Nicole? I okay, well, Nicole. Yeah. Uh, how can I? This conversation is over. Nicole. And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Passive aggressive eye roll. He can't tell you what to do. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna save, obviously. What did he can tell you what to do lead to? I kind of forgot. 
Mm. Passive aggressive eye roll. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying, you can't uh, talk like that to her. I can Jekka? talk any way I like, Jessica. That's not my name. See, you don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here, and you just politely say that's enough. You're on thin ice right now. You're on your fourth wife right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. <laughs> I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. That's a really hey. nice like get up though, Jekka. Like, that's a, like that, that's a nice rainbow. Every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except for the swear to God part. I'd like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn. Back the divine ass up. <laughs> oh, when it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I don't I really think that's don't how it works. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole, what? Yes, Nicole, do tell. Lie, lie, and lie some more. Pretend to be sorry to get back to class. I like the phrase, lie, lie, and lie some more. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said... Said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. Well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid -lecture. Yeah, there we go. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert and he's been pulling this shit for like years now. You got really? the wrong man, oh, you Nicole. Me? Your friend Jessica here he's was the there racist. too. And also seems quite surprised at your claim. Well, she's just in shock from years of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh -oh, <laughs> I see what's going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last-minute accusation. Well, I guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Catching oh, ours. would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious, they should know too. Don't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do Fuck it. Fuck it, double I'll down! Back room, then. What are you doing? Not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. This isn't Juilliard, I can't fake that. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway, don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Jesus Christ, Nicole is a bad person. I mean, we already established that. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? <laughs> may or may oh, not. That. Uh, it was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school Happy Halloween, week. Nicole. Let me just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? Okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with, uh... Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? My essential areas. Are you being serious with me? If not, you're in big trouble. Well, in that case, Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His fingers were like in. <laughs> I believe you, sweetheart. No! Awesome. You rock, Mom. So what's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling nice. a lawyer. Double down. Don't feel like getting roped in. We are a horrible person, so... We kind of have to double down. No, way! You're, you're actually going to do something about it? Aren't we broke? No, oh, I just tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. Amazing. This is serious. Wow. I mean, you know good lawyers? I've been married eight times. I'm well connected. Well, good. Let's pin Mr. White in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even isolate you there's so many people there as it is isolate i don't get it well he has to get you girls alone somehow to have his way oh yeah um yeah no he just does it right in the middle of class you're joking yeah just grabbing titties with no shame <laughs> he threatens to kill us if we tell anyone that grabbing is titties believable i know there's like 29 of us so that's a whole lot of killing you know what I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. 
Grabbing titties left and right. So oh Nicole, my God. In your own words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah, okay, so I'm just doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. Saul Goodman! I see. Go on. His face was totally calm while he proceeded to flip the whole desk over. And it's an art class, so the table's huge, big enough for four kids. Really now? Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. In front of all the students, too. Then his hand started massaging my breasts. It was so... Wait, I I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. <laughs> yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. Well, see, I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. <laughs> Fine. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my neck and whispering things I'd rather not repeat. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Will you ask huh. He called me his voluptuous teen property. This could be, like, done for every other teacher in the goddamn school, the not for white. <gasps> all right, all right, enough of this. No, this is hard. Keep going. <laughs> this is quite the imagination you have. But really, people? Really? Are we going to believe this charade? When the schools show no other evidence of misconduct from its faculty. Are you fucking serious? You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. Avoid getting murdered after he's fired. Write this to the bank. I mean, we've all we've already like doubled down and tripled down and quadrupled down on this, so. I'm going all the way, baby! All the way, baby! So, just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now? Surely it would have gotten out. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Oh male no, the feminist everything. card. However, a female principal? Dun dun dun! Like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? I mean, yes. No, it's not a woman thing, it's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Oh, Lee. you're gonna go in the there. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law, please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? I want to murder my wife and shower you in the life insurance payout. Whoa! Do you have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? Settle down. Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. I didn't even you get to do no anything about that. Anything like five minutes ago. Damn it! <laughs> oh shit! We're gonna win this. Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. We're gonna fucking win this? Nicole, you've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh, well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie. Whoa. We fucking won. It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500000 in the civil Whoa! suit, and I immediately dropped out and moved to L.A. Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax dollars paying for it is so hot. I met another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous. Holy shit! I mean, we... <sighs> We lied about the one teacher that wasn't a pedophile, but we brought down the entire rest of the school with him. Fuck?
Everything works for everyone but me every time. I'm harassed. They tell me to get over it. Someone desirable is harassed and they get the world as consolation. Hot damn! Now what happens if we do the opposite of that and don't double down? This is just a lesson to quadruple and quintuple down, I guess. Let's check out what the other outcome of that is. Avoid getting murdered after he's fired. I mean, I already explained it, didn't I? You know what I mean. Why isn't the rest of the faculty testifying in your favor? Any further details? Uh, the whole thing was kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy? Or abstract? Fictional? Made up? All right! All right, what? I made it up. The whole thing. Oh, no. I knew you'd crack eventually. But how it's not do you how cross-examination works. He's trying to put on my makeup and he belittles me in front of the whole class. You'd want to get even if you were in my position too. It's hard being me. Can anyone understand that? Oh no. I understand. This case is over. Ace attorney motherfucker. Miles Edgeworth. He's literally dressed as Miles Edgeworth. Say, mom was pissed. No shit. I was like, but I thought we should tell the truth. And she was all not in court, bitch. <laughs> we got buried in legal fees, lost our home, lost everything. Oh. Mom found another husband and said I could rot under a bridge for all she cared. I opted for the cardboard box. The least I can decorate it. Lesson learned, though. I learned honesty makes your life way harder than it needs to be. Damn! The fact that those two choices can get you either the rich ending or the homeless ending. Damn! Honesty! Possibilities. You wanna come over? You can stay with me. Smiley face. What are these messages for? Apparently there's a video that you can unlock after you get every single ending. Yeah, court is not gentle for both sides. All right, well. Where else shall we go? There's infinite possibilities. I'm really enjoying this. The, this game's writing is fast-paced bullshit all the way through. You can't even stop to think about one joke before the next dark fucking thing happens. Double down. Don't feel like getting roped in. Lie, lie, and lie some more. Pretend to be sorry to get back to class. Beat up Mr. White. I mean, he deserves it, but not for those reasons. Christ. Don't feel like getting roped in. Wait, Mom. Don't. Oh, God. Did he brainwash you into liking it? Excuse me? Mom, no, just please don't call. It's okay, sweetie. When you're in college, you'll meet plenty of men with just as much money as your photography teacher. No, ew. I made all this shit up, okay? Oh, did you now? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Could you not ground me forever? I know pretending... <laughs> never back down, never what? It's kind of a dry run for when I'm in college. Hmm. I won't ground you at all, actually. Hop in the car. Let's go to a tattoo place. What the oh fuck? Mom, are you serious? You know I've wanted one for so long. Is this like some kind of reward for Is being honest? Is she gonna kill me? Quite the opposite. I had a chat with your friend Jekka's mother at the last parent-teacher conference. And what'd she say? A lot of words, but two in particular really stuck out to me. Disciplinary tattoo. Oh! <laughs> no, this is fucking weird. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Men who teach electives get so insecure when they realize they can't stop anyone tattoos. from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. Am I? It's an art course Where's the anyway. tattoo? Doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit-talking Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. Yeah. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. 
No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass in and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long. Were disciplinary tattoos ever an actual thing? Yeah. No. Whatever. Just a little fun on the side. We'll pick it up, bitches. It's fucking weird, though. I've been though. here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't. You heard skipped it. a little bit uh -huh. of text by accident. Remember freshman God damn it. year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news. Whatever. You have invites or not? Yeah. Me too. How did you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't oh, want yeah, to be right this for ending. you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? We don't hang out with rapists on one condition. So we already know what's going to happen on the on one condition choice. What happens after Jeffrey takes the photo? I guess. I guess we don't hang out with rapists. No, fuck off. Fine, be a bitch. See if I care. <laughs> You're just God. mad you can't see us in bikinis this weekend. What are you doing? What? Don't get flustered like that. He's a rapist. Sex turns into violence overnight for those types. What, like choking and biting? That and jerking off while thinking about us suddenly turning into Jekka would look so hot with her organs gouged out. Ooh. I didn't know these things. I had a brother. Had. Oh, yeah, right, because we sent him to jail. What are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the Fuck this guy, 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 fuck this guy. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. You sell bikinis? Oh yeah, we've already seen this. But swing by my office later and we can take some med- Jeez. Have a- Did- Yeah. Where do you get- I think the- He literally asked you to go to his office- I love this line! Yawn. What? You've gone here- To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon? You could be a rider, Nicole. He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. So he exact. That's like why do you even for home ex? I didn't ex. What is it say? Yeah, they need thumb nail. Does your cart? Hem and what? Uh, I'm your kid. If you're I no, I'm a we already gone through all this. Yeah, they really need a lock on that door. Thanks, hindsight. So what the fuck do I do right now? This is gonna ruin my life. Why can't you tell the principal again? Cause that's fucking embarrassing. Miss Lynn, that mean boy has a picture of my titties halfway out. Yeah, they'll probably find a way to make it your fault anyway. I still can't believe he shot it on medium format film of all things. <laughs> <laughs> Pretentious dipshit jerks off to film prints. Her parents in the 70s? Wait, like film film? Like it needs to be developed? Yeah, he said he was getting it developed to tomorrow's film club. Break in that bitch. No lab, no developing. If yeah, it's bitch. Club, there won't be another one for miles and miles, right? Slay. Destroying the dark room. Would I get expelled for that? If you go in after everybody leaves, no one needs to know. Just wear gloves or something so you don't leave fingerprints. Gloves? If I have any. Will you go with me? No. Those shirts are so fucking ugly, though. Jacob, by the no, way. What the fuck? You. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't, but... Those are like God pink, like jaguar, really world, black and white shits? What the fuck is that? Naked. Yeah, exactly. If I had weird tits and a gut, it'd be classified as an artistic nude. But if you're hot with no clothes on? It's porn. Fine, I'll drive you over there, but I'm not stepping a foot inside that place. Let's go. Lego. Neon wow, animal print. I That's ugly as shit. To destroying things. Are you done yet? Yeah, just about. How fucking walkie talkie? Time to swipe Jeffrey's camera and ruin the negative. Hey, do you have permission to be here? Oh no. Uh. If I said a teacher told me to meet here for a date, would you go after him or just blame me for that too? A date in your pajamas. Did he tell you to destroy thousands in school property too? It's just one place. photo. Come with me. What? It was like this when I sleepwalked in here. You wear gloves to bed? <laughs> Thanks so much for Jekka's stupid fucking glove idea. To this day, I genuinely believe sleepwalking would have worked if it wasn't for wearing those. Anyway, I got statewide expulsion. Yeah, I didn't know it was McDonald's. No, to move again, Burger King. Me to get a shitty job and hits me to relieve her feelings of disappointment. The deep fryer leaving craters on my face is bad, but anyone from school seeing me is a suicidal experience.
Wow, the camera really does add 10 pounds. Fuck off. Ooh. Don't look at me, you fucking slut. Okay. When I leave, either for the day or forever, it is always strange seeing them. They look and I look away. How dare they ask for eye contact when they wouldn't show me common decency when we were forced in a room together. I go back in the car when I see someone from there and I think about killing them. I think about killing a lot of people. I think about- Ooh, okay, I'm not gonna fucking say that. I've decided she doesn't deserve beauty. This has to be Jeffrey, Ryan. This has to be Jeffrey. This game is giving me a lot of needy streamer overload vibes. I haven't played that. I should probably play that on stream. Be probably using this model, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. Nicole would fit right into the tox assessment. Oh, boy. Let's see what else we can get. How many, how many endings have we got yet? We got 8 out of 15 endings. So we need 7 more. Let's see if we can find all of them. Okay, so we know what happens when we... ...do one condition. We already write this to the bank, are we getting murder after he's fired? Double down, don't feel like getting roped in. Pretend to be sorry to get back to class. So fuck photography. Yeah. yeah Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Oh wait. Exactly. Bitch, it's an art. What's up, you whores? Yep. Wow. This is not what. Yeah, no, we we've already done that one. I will literally kill myself if you return to the main menu. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'll keep playing. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, game. Sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was, um. Speaking of that. We should probably do the, what happens, like, when we don't call his bluff. Ryan? When we don't call Jeffrey's bluff. I'm probably gonna leave the molesting endings for, like, the end. Hmm. Let's see. Let me, let me go check on the list. I love this model. Thank you. Okay, going down the list of available endings. How did we get the school shooter ending? You go to... Jim. See if he'll actually tell you. Okay, let's try that out. Everything here is done. Passive-aggressive eye roll, he can't tell you what to do. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can't tell you what to do. Have we gone... Do we have something missing from he can't tell you what to do? Hmm. Let's see. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, how would you like a failing grade? I mean, I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, miss. Shut the fuck. Dude, I was just trying to help. Yeah, you were. Tr how would. Hey, if you. Out. <laughs> now. Again, Nicole. This bitch. Is this the time you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? 
The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. And what do you mean by that? I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. <laughs> no, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. God damn, talking Nicole. out of turn in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? It's high school. Who gives a shit? I'm sorry. Legacy? Yes, your mark, your impact left on the student body. Graduation's only a few months away, you know. See, I'm glad you brought that up. I will literally never see any of these people again after yeah. graduation. There's no point in socially trying with anyone here. No, that's not you true. You must have someone you'd like to stay in touch with after graduation. Chick is pretty no. nice if she doesn't get not into the white nationalist shit. Jack is like, okay, but I'm not going out of my way to hang out with her. Isn't legacy for like a major career or something? Your high school career. Oh, is this a career now? What's my salary? A $2 lunch and 20 years of sexual harassment trauma? Such pessimism at such a young age. When you're an adult, you learn how to truly love life. Aquí vemos a Fisnum en su habitat natural. Parece que hoy decidió vestirse como una diva. Te ves bien, pinche hermoso compadre. Oh, gracias. Oh, I'm sure there's tons of life to love. None of it having anything to do with this high school. Why would I care what some kid sitting two rows back from me thinks? It's not about right now. It's the tons of fun memories you can revel in years after college. Phil, I might need an explanation. Why are you playing this game? Because it's fun as fuck. Okay, um, I know you work here and employee culture keeps your checks signed, but... Anyone well into their 20s still thinking about how high school was is a fucking waste of space. Damn, I true though. introduce you to some of our class of 87 alumni. Many of them are The class of 87? So they're the lower middle class of 87? No thanks. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Oh Mr. no. Acts like his class not so this, and not this again. You can take pictures with a camera. Exactly. Bitch, it's an art. What's up, you whores? Shit, this feels like I'm in fucking live, die, repeat. Next one. Phil, we don't speak Italian colon underscore fi what. Thank you, AIs, for the 14 months. Okay, so that... I feel like I'm going through, like, Groundhog Day. Passive-aggressive eye roll, he can't tell you what to do. Okay, let's try to get the final white supremacist... Supremacist ending. You know what? Sure. Uh, okay. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Fake yes. The white American culture. Fake Are yes to get free food faster. Woman? Yeah, totally love it. A lot, actually. Can we go now? Oh, that's wonderful to hear. I trust Nicole's a looper. Important to you as well. If I knew what it was, then absolutely. So great to find a like-minded student in my class. I love our race, and I'm proud of it. This is the first shoot of many, Nicole. Cool. Will I get paid next time? How would you like $50 a shoot? It adds up. Sweet, yeah. Anytime, any place. $50 is pretty nice for like 2009. purification of this country. You deserve it. Oh. You shouldn't get have you shouldn't have been gotten pinned down as a pedophile, but you're still a piece of shit though. So I'm pretty sure the photography teacher is a white nationalist. Yeah. I said the tuna's good today, and you just replied with that. What is that family guy ass fucking reply? Remember how I told you I did that? Who starts a conversation again? like yes, that? Please, I just right sat again. down! No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird shit about whiteness and being white. I guess it fits. Mr. White's a white supremacist. White nationalist. Isn't it the same thing? White supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture. White nationalists politicize that. So... he's... Stop Jekka! Save her! Pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist. Oh. That makes sense. Does it? Am I racist if I say no? Honestly, I don't give a shit. That's just what Google told me last night. Well, if we have some KKK guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Save Jekka. What? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. 
Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? So here's the thing, Ryan. Are we actually saving Jekka, or was she a piece of shit in the first place? Because, yeah, sure, like, some people can get, like, brainwashed into, like, the white supremacist cult and shit. But she was, like, really good at it. You know? Like, does she get brainwashed into being a white supremacist, or was she always a white supremacist under the surface? Stick together. Save her. Okay, fine. Well, save her from being a fucking racist, I guess. Jesus. Oh, fine, Mom. I guess I'll have to save my friend. I don't know. Non-racist girls gotta stick together. What a lovely surprise, girls. Now, Nicole, you wouldn't happen to be recruiting another loyal white to our cause. <laughs> my god, it is true. We didn't even work it out of him or anything. <laughs> it really puts the proud in white pride. Just, Judging like, slap tones, it on the table. I'm starting to think neither of you are down for the purification of this nation. No shit. No Is shit, that dude. what you're teaching here? To convert quirky art girls into clan members? Well, when you put it that you're way, going it hard sounds that. too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go back, 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 go back. So this black pride... How oh, uh, color... Please. No, it's you really well. Is that no sh judging by your tone? Really puts the proud in white there pride. We go. Judging by your tones, I'm starting to think neither of you are down for the purification of this nation. Jesus no fucking shit. Christ. Is that why you're teaching here? To convert quirky art girls into clan members? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. Fuck Not that hell. there's anything wrong with that. What? You really think I'm a quirky art girl? No, it's just a broad example. Please. Nicole doesn't have an art bone in her way. body. The white pride parties understood the error of their ways in the 20th century. Since then, it's evolved from arson and lynchings. We simply wish to promote pride in our own heritage, just like the colored communities. Fuck do. this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. People of color. How is that better? So there's black pride. That's fine. How is white pride stop. different? Stop! Jekka, no, no, stop! What? You already own everything. It's just a victory lap. If you don't cut this shit out, we're gonna stop it. Hell yeah! You're two little teenage girls. You have no power over me or my people. Maybe not. We're gonna stop time. racism! Let's go! Ugh, did not want to get this involved. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and try. Why you sound like an anime villain? Fuck you. If you looked like me, you'd cheat on your husband, too. Miss Lynn, sorry, but this is kind of important. Hey, yeah, I'll call you back. You'll get the number for lip injections after. Okay, bye. Of course. You do illegal plastic surgery out of your basement or something? No, my friend does. We have to destroy okay. racism. It's about Mr. White and photography. He's kind of- Stop. Stop. I get this conversation once a year. You've known about this? Unfortunately. And for real? And you okay with it? Absolutely not, but- his defenses have my hands tied, I'm afraid. White defense. What defenses? I said white agree. defenses. <laughs> Another level of twisted. But he's made very strong cases for covering himself in peanut butter to pose for the students. So I'd rather not push the issue further. What the fuck are you talking about? Why? Oh, this isn't about that. We're here to report he's trying to recruit his oh. students for white nationalism rallies. Okay, this I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, he asked me to pose for a weekend shoot and kept going on about how racially pure my skin was. You had your clothes on, right? Why wouldn't I? No reason. Go ahead. So we talked to him in the darkroom, and he's just outwardly trying to sell us on a white pride. Oh, man. Uh, well, that is cause for concern. Were any racial slurs used? Not Surprisingly really. it's not. More like the overall content. I'm afraid I can't help you then. Fuck. What? For a claim like that, you'd need pretty hard evidence to get him removed from the faculty entirely. Also, he may or may not have rather compromising photographs of me. So I, I see that. how it is. He may or may not have pictures of you in neo-Nazi shirts, because I may or may not have been there. Actually, I may or may not have been covered in baby oil. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess racism wins. Oh, God damn it! Not again. Can we see the pictures? Get out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> we 
right, so what the fuck's gonna happen now? Nicole? I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. People, Mom. You're being nice, right? Trying to get along? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's my problem. Never putting up a fight. Never telling men I'm not their emotional wheelchair. Oh, we're back oh, to this sweetie, route. I'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness. You're a beautiful girl. Don't have an ugly personality towards anyone. So I should, like, spread myself thin so anyone can have a place in my life? Don't put it so negatively. All I'm saying is be inclusive. Give people That's a chance. That's horrible advice. What if they're bad people? I don't believe in anyone being inherently bad. Yeah, I guess the pedophiles trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Always a negative spin. Just promise you'll try. Try to be nice and make time for people. The connections you start early come in handy later on. Don't screw up here. Ugh, fine. Thank you. I promise it'll pay off. I'll be so what a I, so what, little princess. So what happened to our brother again, by the way, in this timeline? It's kind of all getting confused at this moment in my head. Whatever, now my mom's addicted to heroin again. How was your spring break? Of course. Exhausting. I thought everyone would just forget Terrible about the mom. hangout promises I made over the winter. Oh yeah, but we've already seen all this. Really busy for yeah, I thought that when you're I'm hot. Whatever. What kind of fail? Hey, yeah. Really? Being your yeah. Oh my god. I can't be so dying here. You're ill. But if he yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. So this is your place, huh? That's the third time you said that. So that's uh, if I uh, I'm has hey, I know pretty no I'm not Wow, what are you talk you've so that and with it I think I skipped the dialogue oh, yeah. with this one no no, no I know it's crowded now but you should what okay you, yeah and this all of yeah I think okay I skipped the dialogue on this one so we're gonna see this but yeah season four not really for me personally how about you sorry season four of what now the Doki Daisuke anime <laughs> you've been paying attention right to the first three seasons, or are you talking for the last 20 minutes? Actually, it's the same answer for both. Yeah, I know. What were the writers thinking? I'm actually involved with an online group, and we're going to reanimate season four the way the fans wanted it. <laughs> like a whole cartoon? Yeah, you want to join? We could use all the help we could get. I guess. Animation takes a lot of time, right? At least you weird kids put your time towards something. That's constructive. Oh, well, actually, we haven't found an animator yet. Ah! Yeah, but one of our friend's cousins might do it after he graduates from media school. For free? Yeah, just for the love of the show. Oh, okay, I'm not joining then. For those are, that are, do not understand where this is going, just replace the word animation with programming and the word show with fan game. Huh? Why not? There's no difference whether I join or not join, because this will never be made. Well, if you feel that way. Do you know why it's so hard to find animators? I don't know why the fuck I'm here. I even had to pay for my own shitty cheeseburger. I'm gonna start telling men I'm vegan so they stop trying to take me places. Amazing. But yeah, Kelly's a fucking whore and I hope she dies. <laughs> I'm not opposed to that stance. How about you, Nicole? Nicole? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm exhausted somehow you've been tuning out all lunch she's been down the being nice rabbit hole since <laughs> spring break i fucking love this game Poor man kid. it's like you know they want to fuck but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship how'd you even let it get to the point of a friendship anyway because i'm a fucking pushover okay thank you yeah. for reminding me oh now don't be a bitch about it i guess we just Let's have just to go to the concert now meatloaf in peace fine yeah. sorry Oh, Nicole, what's up? You still I can on? pay you in exposure. I can pay you in exposure. God fucking damn it. For tonight? Fucking Crispin. What about me? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I think so. Cool. The concert's gonna be sick with the you. The government is bad. Shit, that concert was tonight? You are exhausted. Who's playing? Literal nobodies, just cover bands. Why would you agree to that? She's in too deep to say no. Yeah, someone told me they saw you at a place with that weird Japan kid. Wow, you actually went through with that. You need to have some kind of limit. How can I rank who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Oh my god, don't just ask that. Seriously, though? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. 
But you're not just suicidal. You're like. I guess you can go to the concert. Too. Let's go to the concert. Fuck it. Concert. Well, then I won't hear the end of it. Can't please everybody. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the <laughs> asshole. True. Yeah. Fucking Jekka. This is what ha This is what happens when you try to save your best friend from becoming a white nationalist. Hey, yellow tolls. Thank you for the membership. <laughs> This is exactly what happens when you try to f save your friend from becoming a white nationalist. Let's, you know, fuck it. Let's just go to the concert. I thought they played music at concerts. Yeah, I think they're just doing a sound check. And that was our last song of the set. Lincoln Dark. Oh. Up next. So you having fun? I'm actually no. having an aneurysm. Hey, you. Mr. Colby. Him? Hey? here. I work here. Oh, I guess you had to find a new job after the school board fired you. What are you talking about, fired? I left, moved on to bigger and better things. No, I'm pretty positive you got fired after groping me and seven other girls. Yeah, I'm a player, don't remind me. What say you and me get out of here? I want to show you my new ride. You know, I'd love to chill in the back seat with a registered sex offender, but I might miss the next shitty van, so... Come on, Nicole. None of these high school boys are at this level. I actually prefer 25 seconds of intercourse. Just Damn. shut up again, my car. No! Fine! You think I don't have any pull now that I'm not your gym teacher, but think again! My players love me, and they all keep in touch. Are you threatening me? I didn't do anything. Yet. Oh. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Wait, you're gonna miss three more cover bands. The fuck is gonna ha- Hey, how was the concert last weekend? One as expected. Makes sense. So hey, you wanna skip fourth period and buy cigarettes off that weird guy that hangs out in front of our school? I would, but I've just lost the will to do anything. Aww. Um, fourth period's one of my sleeping classes. Come on, I can't go alone. We skip all the time together. What if he kidnaps me? What am I gonna do? Use my tiny arms to rip you from his grasp? This is bullshit. What? Bullshit. You blow all your time on these idiots you don't even like, and now you can't even hang when it's someone you do like? I know, but like, I'm too far she likes in. You? It's gonna be a nightmare if I tell everyone to fuck off now. You have a choice to make. It's either me or your hostage friendships. End of discussion. Fuck. Well, now I gotta think of That's if I a love horrible you friend. more than I hate being stalked. If you don't have an answer by fourth period, I'll have one for you. See you in a Wow! God, I wish I was a lesbian. <laughs> you fucking whore! No, a lesbian. Didn't I go to an arcade with you? Why are you mad? It's a barcade? You know why. Everyone in lacrosse is talking about it. What happened? I, I don't... Get it, is this for YouTube or something? You fucked the whole football team! No, I didn't. Wait, even if I did, why do you care? We weren't even together, fuck off. All those times I took you out and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Of yeah, course. me too. Oh. But you were easy, you would have tried more when I took you out. I'm done with you. From now on, I'm gonna make your life a living hell! Oh. My cousin's gonna hack your MySpace when I tell him you use me. What the fuck is this? You all insisted that I hung out with you, not the other way around. Then why'd you keep doing it if you didn't want to date, huh? Oh. You kept offering. I was trying to be nice. Yeah, I kept offering to lube up the prude, but looks like you were a manipulative slut the whole fucking time! High school. Wrong man actually started a rumor about me. Somebody steal her backpack! Yeah, we gotta get is our Is that money the Patreon back logo? And then fuck anyone! What's the pa- Oh no. Run to the counselor's office. Run home to mom. Either of those options are terrible. Surprisingly, one of the most realistic routes there is. Either go home or get molested. You know, I fucking might as well. Oh, you're actually here. Good. I need some help. Nicole, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no um, way! <laughs> you're like student relations, right? You can talk to kids and get them to calm down? To an extent. What's the matter? Well, see, all these guys I hung out with before, who took the hanging out as dating... Yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. Kill is a rather strong word, don't you think? Would you say they're more upset? Well, considering this game, Why pretty sure killing. 
Let's try a different angle. Why are they suddenly all expecting this sex at the same time? I'd rather not get into it. Thank Long you. story. Really weird and embarrassing. Fair enough. Hey, angry to start. I think what the one gift. What I'll say is, when people find themselves in situations where it's ten on one, it'd be a tad irrational to immediately rule out the conflict being your fault. No, I get that. But the gym teacher, he was at this concert, and now, like. Now hold on. So why are they upset with you again? Because I didn't have sex with them. So sexual frustration, natural for all boys of their age. But what provokes that? You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna go back, like, no, fuck, immediately run home to mom. Fuck that shit. I'm not gonna humor him. You need a prescription for a Vicodin? This is hardly a buzz. <laughs> yes, hello? <laughs> oh, hey, you. Oh, no, fuck really? that guy. Are you serious? I guess I'll have a word, yeah. Mom, that clearly went talk. nowhere. Shh. Yeah, of course. My daughter just walked in. Okay, see you soon. Bye, sexy. I was just on the phone with your school. What? Who at my school are you calling sexy? Your principal. Why are you skipping what? school? What? Wait, what? You don't understand. Like, ten guys were about to jump me over a rumor. I had to split out of there. I don't care if it was twenty guys. They're considering expulsion for all the times you skipped. I told you not to screw up here. Mom, I can't help it if the pedophile gym teacher is trying to sabotage me. This is the first I We don't heard acknowledge that? Gym okay, teacher. fine. I told you about it three times. He would have remembered if you weren't always fucked up on Vicodin. That's it. That's it. You're going back to that school whether you like it or not. Oh. If they expel you from there, you're expelled from this home. Fuck this, I'm done. Good. Lock yourself in your room. It'll be the last time you're seeing it. You got that right. Oh, we're gonna kill ourselves for real now, though. People are books, puzzles, and yeah. puzzles. In that order. First they're read, then they're figured out, then they're persuaded. Some would call that wrongly manipulative, but what's the alternative? Basically, any advice my mom's ever given me? Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. And yeah, sure, but... That only works when men don't want to have sex with you. Be tolerant of guys who get off by choking you. No way that goes south. What's wrong with a pizza delivery boy with no career goals? When's the last time you asked your pizza man if he's a rapist? They're called warning signs, but ignoring them makes you a nice person. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. And just like my dad. If you're reading this... I'm dead. <laughs> Damn! This game is fucking cool! Hey. Oh, Jekka. Miss you. I'm sorry. Aww. We didn't even get the chance to actually hang out with Jekka, did we? Aww. I mean, she's a bitch. At least she's sorry about it. Damn, boy! This game is so fucking cool, holy fuck. That's a really well-made, like, ending. Considering how the rest of this game is just pure comedy bullshit. That's really heavy. Awesome, okay. That is so surprising. Considering the rest of these, like, Looney Tunes ass-ass scenarios. Huh. Alright, well. What else is there to offer? So, I am not gonna go to the counselor's office. Like, whatever happens there, I don't wanna fucking hear about it. What if we... I know everyone's feeling sad for Jekka right now, but, like... What if we hung out with her? Her own way. Dude, I really don't wanna get involved. You're so I, I, yeah, the 
No, actually. We're gonna fucking <laughs> skip this nonsense. shit? What's wrong? Talk about something way cooler. Uh, nothing, never mind. Have you heard comeback season? Comeback season? It's that new mixtape from the actor-rapper guy. Oh, sounds cool. Always important to be in tune with the music you kids listen to. You kids. Right. Well, I need to go meditate to it. I'll see you later. Great talk, by the way. Oh, and same to you. I love a young woman who isn't afraid to challenge societal norms. Fuck off, pedophile. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hey. I was wondering where you were. Here you go. Here yeah, we go. Here 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 we go. Uh, Defend pedophilia? He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. Hello, Candy Planets. Insert funny seven minutes joke here. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I have to play with you. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kind of confronting him, and his arguments weren't that out there. I don't get it. You're He's so a manipulatable. Extremist. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like, he asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride, and- Just holy hell, man, seriously, I know, right? Thank you, Angry Destroyer. I really didn't have an answer for him. So you just kind of backed off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, wow, and he actually like agreed a on a lot. Game. He wants me to do a shoot Fun with him for the whole family. for the White Pride Party's blog. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? <laughs> Why not? For the day. Girl. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? A country where all the non-white races are kind of exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even What's that, that serious. that Italian flag, oh, yeah, like wristband you got on your right wrist? Okay, well. You people said we wanted to hang out with Jekka. So let's hang out with Jekka! I mean, I guess when you think about it, it is kinda silly to tell just one group they can't be proud. This is exactly. awful. Exactly, like, isn't that racism in itself? I get where you're coming from. See, he's not so bad. Hey, you should come to the shoot with me. We can make it a social thing for a good cause, you know? Okay, so there's a lot of people saying on the chat, like, I've seen it on the other white power endings, that... This is not realistic at all. So, fun fact! Have you seen the video of the woman in the airport that got, like, arrested by the police? Because she wouldn't stop saying, I'm white, I'm white, I'm white, to people in the airport? Because I saw it, and that shit is fucked. Okay, I need to fucking find this so I can show people. I'm white airport lady. Crazy plane lady returns to airport after epic meltdown. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully I found the right video. Maybe there's more than one. Not this one. Wait, this is not the one. This is another lady. Hold on. Karen on the airplane. There's so many Karen on the airplane moments. Oh my god, there's so many Karen at the airplane moments. This feels like Heather's mixed with most popular girls in school and Doki Doki Literature Club. You probably don't know the first two, but still. Most popular girls in school? I have not, but Doki Doki, absolutely. Crazy Plain Lady. The woman dubbed Crazy Plain Lady is back at the airport, 
four months after her epic airplane meltdown. Only Inside Edition was there as Tiffany Gomez arrived at Dallas Fort Worth Airport, the exact airport where she freaked out. I should be able to control my emotions, but I didn't in that moment. The drama unfolded moments before takeoff. Gomez accused a male passenger of stealing. That's not even the right one. Oh my God, where is it? On June. Okay, this has to be the one. Yes. Okay. Finally. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. <laughs> wow. What is this country country that you will not allow someone to say? Are you white? There we go. Get the off my face, please. I am a citizen. Get it off my face. If not, I will sue every you or every one of you. I am so sorry that I am a beautiful white person and said, are you white? I'm so sorry. OMG. OMG. God, what are you doing about the black assholes? Christ! Oh, oh, I said black. Oh, God, I said black. Fucking hell, lady. I said the word black. Oh my god. I said black. I said the word black. She sounds said, so drunk, she's super fucked up. I said the word black. You're beating the shit out of me. Black! Black! This is because I'm not black. Hey, lady, I'm not black. Hey, shut your mouth. Hey, shut your fucking I'm mouth. Not black. Enough. No, I'm not. She, the, the officer is saying enough, like he's like talking to a child. Enough, child. Fucking shut up. You calm down. Fucking hell. Black. I'm not black. I'm white. So yeah. I'm white. My grandfather is black. My grandfather is a black person. My grandfather is. So, don't come in and tell me that this shit's not coming from a real place. I mean, sure, it's like a fucking anime girls and stuff like that, so it's obviously not realistic 100%. But people acting exactly like this, not actually unrealistic. This weekend, yeah, I guess I could do another shoot. Awesome, fucking yeah, it'll America. be fun. He'll fill us in on his whole solution for race relations and everything. His ethnostate solution? Maybe, but who cares? If black people get February, we could at least get California. You think all the white people would fit there? <laughs> not in Washington and Oregon, too. Minorities still have another 47 states to pick from anyway. That's a good point. See you this weekend. Wait. Also, I love how I tried to find crazy airport lady on YouTube, and I got multiple results of that shit. Tell her. Fucking hell, Jekka. Well, long story short, <laughs> I went to the shoot and Mr. White got the bright idea of having us build a chlorine bomb that could level a food court. Of course, chlorine didn't bomb. We really know what we were doing while giving him a hand with the supplies. We just thought he had a really big pool. He detonated it at a Puerto Rican rights bingo night, Whoa. killing himself in the process, leaving us as the only living traces of DNA found at the scene. It's ironic, because, like, I wasn't racist in the first place. <laughs> then I dabbled in racism just to be friendly. <laughs> then I tried really hard to convince the jury I still wasn't racist, and now I need to be racist and join some Aryan sisterhood for prison protection. Amazing. Is it like this for every model? Aw, oh, Jacob looks so scared on that. Of course. <laughs> I doubled in racism just to be friendly, you know? Just a little bit friendly. That's fucked up. I'm killing people. Hold on, hold on. I, this is the perfect time to use the nerd emote. 
I'm killing people because it's so much fun. It's more fun than killing wild game in the forest because man is the most dangerous animal of all. To kill something gives me the most thrilling experience. It is even better than getting your rock stuff with a girl. The best part about it is that when I die, I will be reborn in paradise and all the I have killed will become my slaves. I will not give you my name because you will try to slow me down. I have my collection of slaves for my afterlife. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jeffrey. <laughs> That's a real note. Holy fuck. It's no surprise that there is a new Karen meltdown trending every day. They're very mainstream nowadays. Should I just do a stream where we would just watch Karen meltdowns on YouTube? I think a wild card for the five dollars. Hold on a second. Azazel! Should we do a stream where we just watch Karen meltdown videos on YouTube? Yeah! Like we just watch Karens have meltdowns on airports. Fuck yeah, we'll do that in the future. Not right now, it's still finishing the game. Yeah, we should call Aya for it. That'll be nice. Anyway. Wait, why? Have a nice meal, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck you. Anyway, what were we on again? Oh yeah, right, class of 09. Let's see. Shed some light on everyone else. It's high school who gives a shit. Lie, lie, and lie some more. Double down. Fuck that. Find the most exp How many endings are we still left to do? We have five endings left. Fuck that, find the most expensive restaurant in town. We've already gone through that dialogue tree. I guess we have to just go get molested now. I think that's the, I think the, those are our only options. Yep, fuck it, let's go get molested. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha ha, okay? This year's gym class. What about the Jeffrey thing? Oh, yeah, right. Class. Hold on. We can actually delay the molesting for like a little bit by trying to enable the school shooter a little bit. Good. So, gym class. What? Because I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Time for a vicious reality check. No one cares, just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here. And I'm not a nerd, I'm a geek. There's Fuck a off, difference. Jeffrey. Sorry, which one grows up to be a rapist? And which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. The blatant disrespect, snickering behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need you- As an American, yes. That video was fucking on point. Yep. There really are people that crazy. Thank you, Gaston. Your life story here? Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead? They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke to death. Oh my god. I'm sick of all of it. And I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? Let as usual bully take over. Delay a probably inevitable school shooting. We already got that ending though. Let as usual bully take over. I mean, I guess we can try to delay it. Uh, I guess not. You, you don't? Well, the way you put it made it seem like way too much effort anyway, so. Wow. You know, you're actually kind of nice. That's nice? That's yeah. nice. Will you sit at lunch with me? I got a table all to myself, right outside the pizza line. I'd like to, but I told someone else I was going to sit with them today, so sorry. Oh, who? 
fuck, I forgot I'm new here. <laughs> Are you gonna buy me lunch or anything, or is this a full-on charity seating? I pack lunch, but my mom always makes too much. We could share mine. How does that sound? Uh, your lunch isn't some weird shit, right? Like hot dog slices and white rice? Nah, good old-fashioned tuna fish sandwiches. A classic, if you ask me. I fucking hate Family tuna fish. Easiest sandwich to fuck up. So, are you going, or...? Fine. Awesome. Fine. I can tell you all about the new cartoon episodes if you missed any last week. Shucks. Yeah, you know, I've actually missed all the new cartoons for the last 200 weeks. Ugh, so behind. Why would you do this to yourself? Yeah, I have no idea why I'm doing this to myself either. Yeah. Wait, is that gonna lead into the... Depression endings again? Nicole. Yeah. I'm trying to make a depression play yep. on iTunes. What is it? Yeah. Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. Nope. Not doing that shit again. Let his usual bully take over. Hey, what are you cripples doing? He, he just spawns like with? that. Uh, well, actually, I didn't even say anything. Just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff. Didn't know you liked girls. Who is this wow. Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see? More of that cartoon-sounding shit. He must start talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. Can't we just read some manga instead? Please don't tell me we're gonna go immediate. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? My glasses. Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Being alive. Just the power I have as a girl. Did you come here from the feminist seminar? No, Jim. What happened? Like, okay, I pretty much just got the lacrosse kid to beat the shit out of the anime kid. Jealous? I wanted to watch. Wasn't much of a fight, honestly. Oh, did he do the nerd fight thing where he just hugged onto him really tight? Yeah, fine with missing that. Dude, it's not even the fight. Just, like, how I got it to happen. I didn't promise a date or sex or anything, and he just went with it. The way you're processing this is kind of scary, to be honest. What? You never manipulated someone before? No, I technically do it all the time. I've just never verbalized it like that. Are we bad people? Oh my god, she's know. gonna realize He's something? Just trying to process why he'd fist fight for someone he barely knows. Because you're pretty? Yeah. Pretty no, you're just really pretty. But like Ooh. that pretty? No way. If you're gonna be one of those girls who fish for compliments 24-7, I'm gonna find someone else to sit with. No, seriously, like, what are they worked up over? <sighs> You're cute, long flowing hair, and big boobs. Okay, I was fishing for compliments. BITCH! But seriously, like, why aren't we consciously using this to our advantage? Using being pretty? It's called stripping. Strippings for women who never had the conversation we're having right now. Dumb bitches who are like, wow, everyone's so helpful. You really think he's nice because he's into me? <laughs> and that's like half my friends. Oh my God. What? No way. <laughs> and then, and then. I love oh when no, she does that I'm voice. I run out of guys hitting me up. Life is so unfair. Well, does anyone really run out of guys? Run out of good ones real quick. Oh yeah. Run so out of philosophy. guys. Unveiled manipulation. How long are you running with it? Till graduation? Till death. Bitch. Remember, remember, guys, this is not a dating sim. We're never gonna get it on with so, Jekka. It's been a few months since we moved. How's school going? Like, academically or socially? Everything, anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. Wait, where's this and leading to? It absolutely would be. But, Mom. I figured out that if you just don't engage uh, with yep. other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Yeah, this is, this is leading us to another path. So I guess... Excuse That's not an ending. I guess we have to motivate Jeffrey just a little bit. Try me. Oh! At least, like... I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. <laughs> I told every Guess I did. You ruined. Relatable. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? I'm just trying to get all the endings, yeah, man. They affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. 
Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm gonna take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this. But I won't give you a choice in stopping it. Girl hormones make me feel guilty. <laughs> I didn't even read that portion of it, actually. I mean, you don't have to kill yourself over this, do you? In the realm of the living, I am nothing more than a punchline for others' amusement. This is not the purpose I desired. Well, what is? I don't know. What? So if you die now, you'll never know. Don't try to talk me out of it. There's really no place for people like me. What are people like you like? I want 40 foot tall women with cat features <laughs> to step on. Stop me. it! You really think that's the end of the world, though? What do you mean? So you want more than missionary. Big deal. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. It's still the end of my social life. Jeffrey, what social life? All you did was read anime books before. You're still reading anime books now. Did you stop jerking off to porn of comically tall women? <sighs> no. So what's the problem? <laughs> Seems like everything's going according to plan. You know, you're right. What? The only thing that's different is everyone knows now. Who cares? Oh. Yeah, before they just assumed it. Oh. Gosh, thanks, Nicole. You're a really good friend. What? I'm sorry, what was that last what? word? Maybe I'll see you in lunch tomorrow. Company always keeps the suicidal thoughts away. See ya. Yay? This is what empathy gets you. Please don't tell me we go back, back to the suicide endings after this. Nicole. Ah! I can playlist on iTunes. What is it? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately. God fucking damn it. Okay. 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 Why do all the empathy endings go there? God fucking. Okay. I guess no no special ending for that. We have to get molested. We, like, okay, chat, I know you don't want to, but literally everything else ends up in our deaths. We have to get molested. It's time. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the haha, -ha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole, you want my phone number too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good! Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. You're not ready, Phil! Fuck this shit. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, can you- you can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in Can the girls' locker room. Can we kill him? Room. Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. Ugh. Let's save so that we don't have to see that conversation line again. Scream as loud as you possibly can. Sadly, we know where that ends. Or humor a literal pedophile. Let's see where this goes. I guess, yeah. What up, bitch? So what's up? Just wanted to chat with a pretty girl. About? About? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just like looking at you. Why, you didn't expect anything like from this? Why older men? You're just as boring as younger men. Yeah. I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
And I'll prove it too. Hang out by the back entrance and I'll get to school. It's like he didn't even have a plan for this, you know? Like this bitch didn't have a plan or anything. It was like, wait, wait, really? For real though? Wow, I expected to get fired from this. Get sexually harassed by someone your own age or date your gym date your gym teacher. Fuck it. You have money to spend on me, right? Like at least a couple hundred? Oh, I got more than a couple hundred. Like 370. Wait, I'm just a kid. <laughs> exact That's number. A lot for me. Let's do it. Sounds like a date, sexy. Can I call you sexy? I mean, the news will call me a victim, but what do they know, right? Anyway, I'll see you tonight, man. Nicole, Nicole, could you call me coach? Oh! See you tonight, coach. Nicole, what the fuck? Where the fuck is this gonna go? So, uh, how's your drink so far? My non-alcoholic Sprite is just wonderful. This day kind of sucks so far. Could you get me higher? Can something? you actually name drop what, Sprite? Screwdriver? Sure, thanks. Can I have some more? Some more? Sure, how many? How many sips would equal four glasses? I can't have you stumbling out of here wasted. People would start suspecting something. I'm one third your age. That ship's sail, coach. Yeah. Oh, no, it's such a rush. You feeling it too? I'm gonna fucking kill um, Can we get drunk so sure. we can kill this guy? So can I have money? Not so fast, sexy. I was thinking you could come back to my place to collect. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Make a scene. Go back to his place alone. What about kill him? Is that on the table? Fuck yeah, I'll go home with you. <laughs> you just earned an A for the year, young lady. Oh, hey, no. why don't you put your hand on my thigh? Give me a preview. I bet the skin on him's smooth and tight. Everything's tight when you're 16. Ah! That's nice. Of all the students I've dated, you're my favorite. You've done multiple- Get your hand off my leg! Help! Stop! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Sir, back away from the girl. What's the problem here? This is my gym teacher. He just started getting all sexual out of nowhere. Is this true, sir? No, well, well yes, but <laughs> they have the gym teachers do sexual education now. Oh, What's shut the fuck up. To do with sexual education. Oh. Oh, yeah. Is that true? Fuck Did yeah, you look him up. Eat your ass out? No, I wanted to eat her. I, I mean, uh... <laughs> Sorry, officer. That was just a false alarm. Oh, thank God. He just said he wanted to come all over me. No big deal, right, coach? Right, coach. What? Well, coach, the only place fuck you're off. coming is downtown. The cop just spawned out of nowhere. It's the same cop every time. Hey man, I got you arrested. You don't gotta do me that favor. Hey. Well, are you gonna tell me? Tell you what? You know what? Everyone's texting about what happened at the barcade yesterday. That's what they call those places. Barcade. People invent any phrase to make their video games less embarrassing. Hey, I took offense to that. What happened? Did Coach promise you a good grade or something? First of all, how does anyone even know I was there? I didn't file any charges. Some guy who goes here snapped a picture of you at the table with him. Wow, a real vigilante. No, What's he just fucking does that Jeffrey? for his private collection of girls who go here. You getting caught with a gym teacher on camera was pure coincidence. Fucking okay, Jeffrey. Well, I kind of I saw the flash. Baited him into harassing me. Nicole, that's fucked up. What if you get harassed for real one day and no one believes you because of that? Oh yeah, it was a pedophile I guess the anyway. What the fuck? Gym teacher was a perfectly fine situation. I'll leave it alone next time, thanks. Okay, point taken, bitch. So what? He groped you and someone saw or Well, no, I told him to grope me and just screamed. That's oh my god. You're so a psychopath. That was premeditated on your part. Mostly. So why'd you even go out with him in the first place if you knew it'd just end in a shit show? You know, don't have a great answer. I'm trying to that. see all the endings, man. I just did it because I could. The more I thought about it, the more leverage I knew I had. But he's twice your size. He could have killed you. Yeah, but not when other people were around. The second he decided to date a minor, he lost the game of life. Yeah. So he's in jail, lost his job, most of his friends. If he had a family, they probably bailed too. And if someone tries to put the blame what a on good line. Her, they look like a monster, exactly. Susan B. Anthony or whoever the fuck got women this far, what? but I got it from here. Nicole has uh, the ad Undertale logic. So it's been a few months. God since we fucking moved. damn it! Not this How's one. Okay, we railroaded back into a neutral ending.
Okay, I guess I have to go home with the pedophile. I'm really, I really don't want to fucking select. I really don't want to fucking select. I guess, Chad, if that's the op- If that's the option that we have to do, I guess I have to do that. Oh! Yeah, college time down. Good girl. Just so you know, you're gonna have to earn it. Do whatever you want. The money outweighs the trauma. No, it does. Fuck. What the fuck, Cole? After you, coach. Please tell him this is the ending where she stabs him in the back. I came to this new school with the full intention of fucking around. Life was hopeless, so sleeping with my gym teacher was just a drop in the bucket. You could say the major mistake was going home with a stranger, but honestly, oh, she's dead. most strangers are fine as long as they're not into necrophilia. The second I stepped in, he locked the door behind us, grabbing my neck and squeezing really fucking tight. The last thing I remember was the rush in his eyes while the life slipped from mine. I didn't know her that well, but tell Jekka she's cool for me. Yeah. As for my family, they can fuck off and burn in hell with me. See you soon, Dad. Those are some horrible shoes, Nicole. This is like the lamest shoes ever. <laughs> At least it was quick. You know what I mean? What up now? Announcement after an announced on the intercom. Let's take a moment of silence for her. It's been one week. It's been one month. And so on and so forth. No one hated her when she died. I wonder if the intercom would say my name after that many times if I went early. Fuck off, Jeffrey. You also killed her. All right. What about the other outcomes of this scenario? Get sexually harassed by someone your own age. Hey man, I love to catch an R, but I got homework. It's a weeknight, you know? Uh, I guess you're right. Hey, but one day we'll make something happen. I can't let my sexy student get away now. Oh my god, you're so bad. Your gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than states in America, but again, okay. sorry it didn't work out. out. Is it sociopathic if he still falls if you're into BMI. the trap, though? I mean... You can be a sociopath and be dumb, Gallium Angel. Like, most of the psychopaths that do get discovered in real life are because they are psychopaths. And they're dumb. Usually the psychopaths that are not dumb are the ones that are rich and powerful and famous and are like billionaires and stuff like that. Because at that point, once everyone actually realizes that they are psychopaths, they're too powerful to even stop to do anything. Like, the only psychopaths that actually get revealed to the public are usually the dumb ones that just kind of do whatever they want until they go to jail. You know what I mean? Think of the five dollars though. Is under 25, you should just automatically get an A. Do something, bitch! Dude, shut up. Who cares? You think you're getting far with that mentality? You gotta nut up, Nicole. Nut up! Sorry, I didn't know dodgeball was a long term goal for you. You know, what if? What if it's a long term goal for me, huh? I'd feel sorry for you, because I'm pretty sure they canceled Extreme Dodgeball like two years ago. You saw that show too? That's sick! You know, you're kind of cool for a girl. Thanks. You're kind of cool for uh, a girl. Sorry, you're just not a person who warrants return compliments. <laughs> Man, honest too. It's kind of hot. Hey, do you want to want to like hang out later? This dipshit has no chance with me. Sure, let's see what he's about. I'm pretty sure that if I just say no to him, I will just go back to the depression endings. But Nicole's fun to listen to, so why not? Are you seriously asking me out while taking dodgeball seriously? No. I mean, well, kinda. It could just be sex. We don't need, like, a whole relationship. Of course. Sorry, I don't know the politically correct way of asking this, but... Are you actually retarded? <laughs> uh, I don't know who told you, but when I got tested, that was supposed to be a secret. Fucking Trody can't keep his mouth shut. Just having a friend named Trody. Trody. <laughs> You are a quintessential dipshit. Quinn, uh, 
I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna kick your ass. Wow, really? Girl, what the fuck is wrong with you? you? Think I care? You don't know me. I beat the shit out of my mom if she was asking for it. What? Let him simmer down. Get the nerd in on it. Okay, I, I, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Where the fuck is this gonna go? Let him simmer down. Get the nerd on. Get the nerd in on it. Hey, what you guys talking about? Spawned in. in. He's gonna kick my ass. Can you believe it? Why would he hurt someone? Anime warrior, save me! You? I know, that's what I'm saying. You meathead jocks are all the same, treating women like objects. Get the so nerd! You treat girls like the plague, you never fucking touched one. Oh yeah? You're real tough. I'll have you know I'm saving myself for marriage. You can't even tie your shoes. It's not saving when every store's closed, you fucking bitch mo. <laughs> wow, that's a good line. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty bitch sure the only reason you harass girls is to make up for the time I saw you kissing the football captain! <gasps> what the fuck did you just say? Fucking your way to the top, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna Bye. Your nose right now, you fucking bitch! Holy shit! This is my favorite this is my favorite route so far. Scream for the gym teacher, use the nerd as a human shield. Oh my god, please save me, Jeffrey! Okay, buddy, you wanna hurt the girl, you gotta go through me. I was just gonna make her nose bleed, but I'll make sure you never walk again. Holy shit, this guy. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh god, no! Ow! My glasses! Bye, King! I'm sorry, this guy's an asshole and stuff like that, but like, his hey, voice actor is really good. Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. Okay, we've already gone through that one. Keep it turn. No. Okay, so I don't think that this leads into any ending, but I like the outcomes. Scream for the gym teacher. Hey, coach, buddy. Hey, hey, hey there, big guy. Wanna help me out of there? Ah, he's gonna break my nose! Stop it! Screaming won't save you now. Hold on, hold on! What do you think you're doing? Nothing, coach. I'm just gonna punch this slut in the face until one of her eyes stop working. Jesus Christ! Christ! Uh, you won't be laying a hand on our lovely and very beautiful new student, Nicole. Oh, what the fuck? Everyone <laughs> gets me! I wanna go home and stab my hamster! That's it, son. I like that competitive first. Son? Get up there and use the originals this Friday! Hey, <laughs> you got it, coach. What? So... Just no punishment. At least he got that monster off her back. Thanks, Mr. Colby. No problem at all, Jeffrey. I couldn't let him hurt the prettiest girl in class. Ugh. I gotta look down someone's shirt for morning push-ups. Are you kidding me? True that, <laughs> sir. Does he just say that in front of every girl? He doesn't give a Only shit, he's a killer. He are really pretty. Ugh. And back to What's Jack. That? What's what? The gym clothes? Oh yeah, the heat's cranked way too high here, so I just left glass in this. I can finally breathe, you know? Okay, well, you're the first girl I've ever met who isn't cold 24-7. Yep, not cold at all. What's wrong? What? I skipped changing to get out of gym quick as possible, trying to avoid that lacrosse kid following me. What's Roy Rage want with you? He asked me out, and I pretty clearly told him to screw off. It's like white guys who like running can't take no for an answer. I wish I had like 5% of your confidence. How is that confidence? Blatantly telling some scary dude to get lost? I could never do that. It's not that I'm confident. I'm just too lazy to give a shit. Yeah, same. Wait, depression arc then? Yeah, it's gonna be depression arc. So, it's been a few months since we moved. Uh, not, not really, but same thing, really. Let him simmer down. Okay, whatever. You're the only party who cares in this anyway. Yeah, don't test me again or there's gonna be trouble. Now, I got <laughs> <laughs> Why is He could fucking slap with that ball. <laughs> I love that tiny What's animation. That? What's what? The gym clothes? Oh, yeah. The heat's cranked way too nope. high here. Alright, uh, that one. I love that he just got a hit with the fucking ball and it didn't even fucking get faced about it. All right. Let's see what he's about. Like, hang out where? 
Oh, you know, my place, maybe? I got this really cool stereo. Your dad bought a really cool stereo? That's cool. So... So are you down? Are you down? I guess... sure? When do I come by? Any time tonight. My parents are out of town trying to find a boarding school to put me in. Sound good? Yeah, I'll swing by. Sweet, you're down to fucking everything. This is gonna rock. Well, no, the only thing down is my serotonin levels. What's serotonin? Is that like printer ink? <laughs> He's really stupid. Yes, I'll go. Now stop talking to me. Oh god, what's gonna happen now? But yeah, so I'm pretty into cool shit. You know, not like cool, cool shit, but kind of that step away from the regular cool shit, like just doing my own thing, you know? This fucking guy. All I ask <laughs> is, are you paying for the pizza and you just went into that? <laughs> Whatever, you know, stuff at school, just on my mind and everything. What do you want to talk about? Lacrosse, maybe? See what shitty music he likes. Talk about other kids. See if there's anything to steal around here. I feel like this is gonna, like... Give us a lot of options now. Hmm... Oh, dang! Progress! Steal stuff! Is there even money in lacrosse? Well, the pizza party after games is like $80 or something. No, like memorabilia, autographs, anything? Well, my regional trophy is made of gold, so pretty valuable. Mm. I tapped it on the way in here. Pretty sure it's plastic. Uh, I guess the paint's made of real gold then. Does anyone famous play lacrosse? Have a signed ball or something? The greatest lacrosse player of this era is probably Cody Simpson. But I lost one of his signed jerseys last year. It's just year. like the developers have history so with lacrosse. Oh, wow. For real? How much are we talking? Dude. Bro, like, $90? Whoa. So, there's no money in playing it. No money collecting it. What's the point? That's kind of what makes lacrosse so awesome. It's not about the money or commercials. The true payment comes in honor. Girls so <laughs> dig honor. Honor won't pay for my new outfits. How do you buy into any of this shit? Who cares? Wow. It's like... It's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's <laughs> hot, I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you? You wanna try, like, going steady? Wow, he's actually going getting steady. feelings. People still say that? Like a relationship? Whoa. Yeah, you can be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. So how about it? You wanna date? Reject him coldly. Play around with this leverage. Hmm. Ah. No. Fuck it. No? Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. Give me a chance, Sorry, dude. But I'm too smart to date you. How no, much is it? Do you see this room? What? Because I like sports? We're not all dumb jocks, you know? Who cares if you like sports? You're just boring. Like, yeah, your coach gives you free Percocet and everything, but how does that make you cool? So, what do I do? Impress me or die trying? So, if I die, you'll be my girlfriend? Uh... No, isn't... <sighs> Look, I'm sick of the same boring kid trying to take me out on his parents' money. I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. <laughs> oh, fucking oh. sociopath. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it! What? I don't have it all figured out yet, but like... I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. No, she Aww. isn't. She's like such a simple PTSD, bitch. I'd be blushing right now. Awesome. I'll see you at school next week. I got a few things to work on. Dude. So I can go now? Yeah. Dude, she's not worth Is it. Something wrong? No. Just surprised I didn't get sexually assaulted for telling you no. Oh, nah. I wouldn't do that. You want my key? Like to my house? Whoa. Why he's. Do I want a key to your house. Just letting you know, you're you're always welcome. Take my key. Take it. Take my key. What? Okay. <laughs> take my key. <laughs> him? I did not yeah, expect that. Wrong? I'm just kidding. I know what's wrong with him. But like, you went over to his house. He's a total jock. You know what jocks do? Get molested by their coach? Yeah. And then they take it out on you. When he got you a drink, did you watch him pour it? He never got me a drink. Well, no drink. Did he offer a drink? Did not offer a drink. Huh. What a fucking asshole. See, they're all like this, too. 
At least I didn't get drugged. I'd rather get drugged than not offer to drink. Ooh. You know what's fun about Check us? Is our priorities are drastically different. So anything else from last night? Yeah, he really wants me to be his girlfriend, but you know, Man's got a crush. Have a temper problem, right? How'd yeah. you turn him down gently? I didn't turn him down. I challenged him to win me over. Under the assumption there's some chance I could like him. But in reality, there's no chance. There's no chance. No. no. Zero. Well, good luck with that. Do you want my number in case he revenge kidnaps you? Revenge I what? I already have your number. But yes, the rumors were true. Why is that your bitch always Jim looking teacher, behind Coach her? Colby was having illicit relationships with some of your classmates. No shit, brother. Carler. <laughs> Anyway, his position of gym teacher has been terminated and will be replaced by next week. If any students had unfortunate run-ins with this behavior, my office is always never, open to never. Talk. I'm never gonna go in yeah, there. I Fuck was you, in never. His class, and he always wanted to try and guess what kind of underwear we had on. Oh, I remember that. I'm so sorry you had to go through that, both of you. Well, no, the fucked up part was he always guessed it right. It's like he was psychic. <laughs> or spying on you. Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. Why do you feel the need to be pessimistic? Fuck this guy. Flirt with him as a joke. Lie for a pity party. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Uh, cause I'm a victim of that psycho. You too? Uh, yeah, he, he like locked me in his office and did things. Like what? Now, Kyler, you should know it's disrespectful of your classmate to ask the details of her sexual assault. I mean, I kind of want to hear. Class dismissed. <laughs> Everyone out but Nicole. I'd like to have a word with you. Fuck. Can we fast forward this to the part where you tell me I'm not alone so I can leave? Well, I wouldn't give any old lecture to you, Nicole. One of our brightest students deserves better. No, no, no. You know what? Fuck, fuck. You know what? Fuck. I'm not going to listen to that guy. I'm not going to listen to that guy. Sorry, sir. I guess I get flustered around dominant. This is way worse! Uh, because... Is this happening right now? Nicole... How would you feel about participating in some extracurricular learning exercises? No, 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 no. How no. to exercise my right to say no? Now, now, be serious. My car's nearby in the staff parking lot. I have the key fob, which starts the air conditioning remotely. Ooh! Oh, well, now you're over. How about it? I could help you with your homework using the faculty answer keys. And I can tell you have many ways of repaying me just by looking at you. Scream and get another one fired. Use him to skip school. I want to get everyone fired off this fucking school. Help! You got another guy trying to date minors in here! Another okay, one! Calm down! Forget I said anything! Dude, you can't get rejected and then pretend you didn't ask me out. Quick, Principal Lynn, anyone? What is going on in here? Nicole, why are you screaming? He literally just invited me over to fuck. Excuse me, is this true? Uh, well, I didn't use the F word. I like the it's like every week now. Man. Security! <laughs> yes, Principal? Arrest this man for criminal misconduct. He's just now, let's in here. reasonable here. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against fuck! you in... No! This is all your fault, you fucking whore! Wow, that was mean. He also threatened to kill me if I didn't have sex with him, so throw that somewhere in the charges. <laughs> Come with me. No, don't! Don't listen to her! Double kill. Bring the car around front. What's kill street. Where's the counselor in handcuffs? What the fuck is everyone out here for? Today was the school bake sale. Apparently, you picked the worst day to ask a student out. Oh my god, another pedophile. Another one. Tell me about it. Hey, Nicole. What? Look, on the roof. Oh, oh, my god. oh, oh fuck. Now. Kyler, get down from there. Oh, I will. I'm going to jump for you, Nicole. Holy shit. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? 
You said you wanted someone not boring, so I'm going to stick the ultimate landing. Oh, fuck. You told him to do this? Well, first I told him to fuck off, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. One girl isn't worth the rest of your life. Don't kill yourself. I'm not. If I stick the landing, I won't be hurt at all. What? Not on my space. Oh, my God. Stop him, Nicole. Why? He's got it figured out. I can't have two pedophile arrests and a student attempting suicide in one week. Really need to keep this job. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which one? Which one is that? <laughs> So, like, it's gonna go either way? Do a flip, idiot! I don't fucking care. Hey, I gotta be honest. I don't really give a shit if you stick some awesome landing. What? Really? Yeah, really, cuz like- Cuz you love me for me! You don't need some wild display of courage to be my girlfriend! No, actually, I'm just not going to be your girlfriend either way. You had zero chance from the start if it makes you feel any better. Yeah. What? No! Why did you say that? No! <laughs> it's okay. Just take some deep breaths. Back We're off. We're destroying the, the school. All I deserve is a deep plunge. You did this, Nicole! Oh, God. Oh! What was that 90s TV show? Correct on the pavement. I'm traumatized right now, but that was actually pretty good. How can you girls make jokes at a time like this? Your classmate just took his life. Yeah, you were about to take me out on a date. Fuck off, pedophile. Fuck off. Pedophile? Was this boy molested to the point of suicide? No, it's just our guidance counselor trying to molest me. No big deal. Well, I should alert the police. Already here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we fast track that one. Yeah, this place is wild after that. I can't even understand how it happened. That's a cool hoodie, man. Hey, do you guys know where the janitor's closet is? I'm trying to sell him something. Sorry, I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I can tell you. Bye. Oh. What the fuck was that? Hey, anime kid, do you know? Uh, I'm sorry, I'll go. Oh, we have power. Hey, there you are. Hey, why is everyone avoiding me? Uh, the only word on the street is you manipulated Kyler into killing himself. I barely did anything. Oh my God, don't get defensive. I'm on your side, like half the girls are. Why? He didn't even know me. Exactly. All he liked you for was looks, meaning you're pretty enough that a boy would literally die for you. It's like awesome. I want to be you. What's your secret? Secret? It's... I just told him to work for it. That's it. Yeah, I tell guys that too. They aren't jumping off buildings for oh, me. Oh, we're going to be queen bitch this of the so school. not what I thought would happen after this. So many girls are just happy over this. Look, I know it's bad because he's dead or whatever, but like, honestly, fuck him. He was an asshole. The world's better off. I don't Fuck disagree no. with you. Hi, Nicole. Uh, could I ask you something? Yeah, ask her anything. The uh, fuck is that shirt, friends, girl? Oh, well, I was just wondering if it's okay if I put my hair up like yours. If you're okay with that. It's a free police state. Do what you want. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. You saw that. Yeah. You gotta do something with this. Get famous with it. Like, you could be one of those famous YouTube girls. Hey, guys, I'm so hot boys kill themselves over me. I was with you on everything except famous. You don't want to be famous? No, just no one on YouTube's famous famous. Famous oh, famous, that. YouTube, like famous. YouTube famous? Come on. Oh, shit, are we going to become a streamer? Make a blog about an idiot killing himself. Exercise your newfound power another way. Let's go become a streamer, boys! All right, but I don't have a camera or anything. We'll just record it at my house. I have a Mac and everything. You want to just skip right now and do that? Fucking of course. Let's go. <laughs> YouTube or anything. Eight months later, I'm kind Yo! of a big deal on YouTube. The first video we did went viral in like a week. All these news stations were calling for an interview. Schools wanted me to do assemblies. Oh, and a million sponsorships for companies I don't even like, but they pay, so whatever. I Yo! was definitely right about YouTube fame because I tried hanging out with the guy who played McLovin and he just ignored every text. Holy shit, she became an influencer. Hmm. 
Hmm? Every video I post and comment, I actually post several. Never my face on the profile picture. Never a username that suggests who I might be. Never the same account. I post with the curiosity of seeing if that you would ever reach out to me. Curious as to who I am like the rest of the world seems to be for you. I hate you. I think you're an attention whore. And yet I wish I had the acceptance and social stimuli you take for granted. You're such a fucking whore. I could be your friend if you gave me a chance. That's such a realistically written fucking threatening message. Are those real letters? Alright, well. Exercise your newfound power another way. Well, hold on. I might have a way easier idea here. I think okay, they are. Call over the weird nerdy kid. Oh no. Jeffrey, can you help me hold my books? Huh? Yeah, of course. Anything for you. Where's the books? Hi, Jeffrey. Uh, Nicole. Hi there. What's wrong, Jeffrey? Just looking for a new friend to chat with. Am I no good? Uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> it's just, I I'm afraid of you. Afraid you'll use your emotional prowess to manipulate me into killing myself. What is this? A is fucking. What those boys are saying? Yes. You'd Does be she correct. have psychic powers oh, and shit? What? what? They're right. Ah. Boom! You don't want to fall in love with me, do you? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I, I don't know. You're a smart boy, right? Let's make a deal. You do all my homework and slip me every test answer, and I won't force you to kill oh. yourself. Oh my god. Really? You do that for me? I never thought a girl would be this nice to me. Oh my god. Best before I change my mind. Uh. Of course, I'll get right on it. Uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, no, the fact is, Jeffrey's 100% into this shit. I don't believe what I just saw. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but there's no way this will last. Gaslight, gatekeep, like girl boss. Is it look they're into, or what? Yeah, long flowing ponytail, very emo. What's gonna happen now? So, he stuck with that deal all the way to the end of graduation. I'm valedictorian for the class of 09. He what was still doing all that homework even after everyone stopped caring about the suicide. Which was like a month, so Jeffrey's an outlier. For my speech, I just read quotes from an AA brochure and people ate it up. Special thanks to lacrosse. Yay! Oh, the highest grades? Nice. Yeah, that was kind of a lame ending. I prefer- I prefer being you to famous way more than that. I am the ball, the ball, the ball. It's an interesting paradox. Women, I'm not interested in telling me to be open with my emotions. They say it's wrong that boys don't express their sadness and vulnerability, but the women who might consider me absolutely hate it. They think I'm a freak when I communicate any notion besides generosity. The world of the living is a Game of paddle ball. Guess who's the boy? Alright, Jeffrey. So only two endings left. But there's a lot of outcomes that I actually want to see. So let's try going a little bit farther back. Let's go to back to the lacrosse house. And talk shit about all the kids. Does lacrosse involve beating the shit out of that one kid? What one kid? The one who likes Japan a lot, Jeffrey. What? Oh yeah, totally. Me and the other guys fuck with his ass all the time. Gay. Yeah, how many fingers? <laughs> you know what, guy? Just throwing lacrosse balls at him and watching him chump. Nice. Yeah, him suffering just makes me feel good for some reason. Wow, yeah, sociopath. Hot. Speaking of that, you know that one girl, Jekka? I, I can't remember her last name. I know her. She dresses really expensive and everything. She's cool. She's pretty cool. Yeah, cool, like in a stuck-up bitch way. Yeah. What's she do to you? Nothing. But girls with that sort of attitude? I don't know. Like, I want to have sex with her to knock her down a few pegs. What the fuck is wrong, wrong with you? <laughs> How is that wrong? Whatever. All men are rapists anyway. You're just a drop in the bucket. God wow, damn! It's like, the call. It's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot. I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, <laughs> but you? You want to try, like, going steady? Same going brain cell. Steady? 
People still say that? Like a relationship? <laughs> yeah, you could be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. So how about it? You want a date? Uh, just reject him coldly, man. Uh, how does hell no sound? What? The 20 minutes I've been here is already way more than I could chew. You don't think athletes are emotional? We could be deep. You even paused! It's not that you're an athlete. You're a lacrosse player. There's no offhand chance I miss out on a millionaire husband. Literally, no one gives a shit about lacrosse but the people who play it. That's not true. My dad likes lacrosse. And did he play it? Yeah, but not right now. <laughs> are you pretending to be stupid? There's like no way. This is some big joke, right? No, I, I wouldn't pull a joke on you. I I'm just stupid. Totally retarded. <laughs> You ever heard that one phrase, we can either choose intelligence or happiness? Um, no. Of course you well, didn't! assuming it's real, I don't feel bad telling you to never talk to me again. Your dipshit brain shouldn't take it too hard. No. Aww. You don't, you don't understand. Aww. You're not. Are you Don't crying? cry! It's just... No! No? No! You're being mean to me. Whoa, hey, Aww. um, don't... You know. Maybe Coach was right. Um. So? Sorry? No, it's whatever. I'll just go to the lacrosse convention alone this weekend. That's why I wanted a girlfriend, I guess. Aww. Oh, you're going alone? You I meathead. Guess. Whatever. This is awkward. Oh. I'll just jump off the roof so I have a good excuse not to go. Ugh. Do you want me to go to the lacrosse convention with you? God fucking damn it, woman. You would do that? I guess. Oh, cool. I'll pick you up this weekend. Thanks. Can I get some Percocet for going? Oh, yeah. My prescription's on the dresser. Just take it when you walk out. I guess I'm walking out now, then. Wait, is this gonna go into the depression ending? Nicole, yep! I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. This is like fucking Groundhog Day. See what shitty music he likes. Uh, do you listen to music? Or is it just Eye of the Tiger pregame playlist? Eye of yeah, the I Tiger. Like music. I like bands, guitars, and drums. Yep, that about covers it. What bands specifically? You know, the Midnight Supernova. Who the fuck are the Midnight Supernova? When did they start? Like, just now, because I just made it up. What? <laughs> Someone who cares would awkwardly try to continue this conversation, but I don't. Wow, it's like, it's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot, I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you? At least, at least he's honest. Like going steady? Going steady? People still say that? Like a relationship? Yeah, you could be- What a treat. So how about it? You want a date? Play around with this, <laughs> with this leverage. No. No? Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. So How am I- Do you- What? Who So- Impress- So- No- Uh- Lost- But I'll- What? I don't- Aw- uh, Awesome- So- yeah. No- uh, Why would- Just like- Okay. Okay. Now we're going to- Him? Yeah, what's wrong- I'm just kidding, I know what's wrong with him. Get my- Yeah, he- What? Did, what? Uh, Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. Live for a pretty party. Feel the uh, I'm never gonna I'm fucking flirt with this psycho? asshole. How about it? I could help you with your homework using the faculty answer keys. And Use them to skip school. Many ways of repaying me just by looking at you. Nah, nah, scream and get fired. Help! Now. You got another guy trying to date minors in here! Okay. Do Wow, that was just mean. like in the he fucking Friday Night Funkin' community. No. What's happening? Why is the counselor in handcuffs? Oh my god, another pedophile. Oh okay, let's go. Kyler, get down from there. Oh, I will. I'm gonna jump for you, Nicole. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh. Are you serious right now? You said you wanted someone not boring, so I'm gonna stick the ultimate landing! What the fuck does the you ultimate landing this? mean? Well, first I told him to fuck off, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. One girl isn't worth the rest of your life. Don't kill yourself! Okay. Now! If I stick the landing, I won't be hurt at all! Saw it on MySpace! Oh my god, stop him, Nicole. Why? He's got it figured out. I 
can't have just like a perfect frame one fucking input in one week really need to keep this job fine uh kyler what he's thinking about it in like terms of like fighting game terms like if he sticks the line like the perfect one frame landing he won't get any damage at all i already saved what am i doing wait yeah i already saved um i don't care wait i already said i don't care shit shit pretend to care if you jump i'll be your girlfriend for sure i never thought you were serious about this god damn i love you more than lacrosse and if we're still together in two years i'll marry you after graduation god damn oh sick here goes nothing he really jumped take that shit boy ow oh my god nah dead oh shit my legs are in pieces! Somebody call 911! Somebody already did. Step aside. Hey, lacrosse? Well, if you can't walk. Nah. Oh my god! Nicole! Nicole! What? I'm right here. It's fucked up, but I don't think I'll be able to support us as a pro lacrosse player anymore. That was the plan? That was the plan. But it doesn't mean anything. We'll figure it out together. Right? I only date men who can walk. Lie to him so it wor it hurts worse later. Well, we're a sociopath, so Lamau. Seinfeld, ha 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 ha. Uh, kind of, probably sure, yeah. As long as I have you, I'll be okay. All right, go. So what'd you tell him? I gave a very loose yes to being his girlfriend. That should keep him stable in whatever mental ward they ship him off to. Nicole, uh, is there anything you learned today? Dear Princess Celestia. Literally anything for sex, but honestly, I learned that years ago. So if you knew that, why did you actively encourage him in the first place? I wanted to see what literally anything looked like. Well, we're caroing here right now. Than I was at your age. Duh, I have internet. Of course. So the school's probably shut down for the rest of the day. Where are you headed? Need to go home after this shit. Make use of the key he gave me. I guess we can just squat at his place. Need to go home after this shit. If I go home, I will definitely... A hundred percent get the depression endings. So let's see what's at his house. Really glad I let him give me that key now. If he's in the hospital for a month, he won't be missing any of his shit. Oh my oh, god! Oh, drugs! Set here to get surgery awake. I'm snagging all of this. Holy shit! The mother load. Just stop feeling emotions in general. Drugs, 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 drugs. Yeah, so I went a little crazy the first week of having oh. an endless supply of opioids. Mom found me strung out on the bedroom floor and called 911 to get my stomach pumped. Now I'm in rehab against my will. I wish they had rehab for not ugly people, because all these toothless meth heads keep hitting on me. At first I thought it'd be fun because you get away from school. The room of 09. I tutor here. It's bullshit. I'm going to hang myself tonight. Just kidding. Not really, though. This bitch got really affected by her dad's death. Fucking daddy issues. Hmm. Priorities for the year of our lord. Kill that fuck up, fat bitch! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a long, nerdy text. <laughs> okay. One last ending to go, I guess. I know how to do this one.
so to not make the intro to beginner's photography too long... Dude, why did I pick an art class? All these kids are annoyingly quirky. So nice of you to join us, young lady. You sound way too happy to be actually happy. Quite observant. To make up for your tardiness, That's why he's a white nationalist. Out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's class. Skip, because he asked you to do manual labor. Oh, hey, I know you. What's up? This is the girl's bathroom? Really? Nah, no way. So what brings you here? Hmm, what would bring a girl to the girl's bathroom? Skipping? Duh, now get out. Oh, come on, wait. What class are you cutting? Photography. The teacher tried making me do shit for free, and I am not about that. Photography? Oh, me too. Crazy. So even Bitch. if I don't skip, I can't avoid you. Great. You're a cool girl, you know that? What? I just like you, you know? Dude, get in line. Nobody knows how to leave me the fuck alone here. Yeah. So honest. Like, I feel like I could really open up to you. You have a lot of emotional conversations. I listen to a lot of deep bands, so I can never find a girl that can keep up with me in that department. Did... You just threw that deep, deep band bands thing? thing? No context. Come on. Can I at least know your name? Nicole. Oh, hi, Nicole. You want to have a sit down with me? You know, talk it up? Fucking stoner. Nicely say that you aren't interested. Let's see how fucking deep this shit is. Yes, guidance counselor. Let's talk it up. Hey, come on. No need for the jokes. I can tell you're fragile inside. Me too, oh. actually. Oh, yeah? How can you tell? You know, like, y your face and stuff. My dad That's killed himself. You You've known me for literally two days. All I need is two minutes. <laughs> you want to oh, get to the smooth. emotional part? I think developer is a lot more exciting than this. Look, it's just, I don't know. People don't understand me. Like, this girl saw I was listening to pop punk and was like, I thought punk was anti-pop. Like, she didn't understand. I would have told you the same thing. Pop punk's for boring suburban kids who want to live in L.A. But it's deeper than that? Like, I feel like no one at this school gets me. Just curious, were you saying that before using the internet? <laughs> Man, like, I don't know. There's got to be more out there. You haven't actually replied to a single thing I've said. How is this, this a conversation? conversation? I guess it's not, huh? What? Not so much a conversation, more like a vet sesh. I'm going to slash well, anyway. your tires. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you go now. But, oh, Nicole, thanks for listening. You're a good friend and stuff. Gee, thanks. You're a good person I was forced to talk to. Today's yapping level, yapastrophic. Drop it like it's hot ringtone. It's bleeps and bloops. Fuck out of here. Who is this? Wait. Stop hey, bitching. Listening in the women's restroom. Oh, it's that weirdo. How do you get my number? Whatever, let's see. I love seeing you and hearing your voice. Your attitude just works for me, IDK. Yeah, IDK is real romantic. I wanted to show you what you do to me. Show me what? I don't see. Oh my god, all yeah. three inches of it? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> three inches. Delete it and forget about it with therapy. He made a mistake. Oh, shit, boy. Are we gonna cancel this motherfucker? Or delete it and forget about it with therapy? Does it just immediately go back to one of the neutral endings? I'm just gonna erase this. Ugh. I was literally raped through a phone just now. Uh, that's that not before, how it works. But now I gotta deal with seeing him there. Is this gonna go immediately go into one of the neutral endings? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Not dealing with this. All right, let's ruin this guy's life. Then again, he kind of just put himself out there like that. Send it to her, send it yep, to her. Yep, send it yep, to yep, him. yep, so yep, him, yep, 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 yep. Hey guys, what's going on here? We having fun? You hear the new drops at the CD shops? <laughs> oh, hey, Crispin. Yeah, I would have, but my after school time was kind of short. Yeah, it wasn't long at all, right? Oh, sucks to hear, bro. What happened? Literally everyone at school seen your micro penis. <laughs> what? No way. How? Because you took a picture of it, you fucking idiot. 
Settle down. Jeffrey just Everyone. fucked up from that conversation. Think you kids get worked up over some tiny thing. I get it. I get it. <laughs> what is so funny? Crispin's been sending out pictures of his junk to every girl in school. That's not how I heard it. I thought it was just one girl. And then she sent it to everyone. Who was it then? Shut the Tell fuck me, up, Crispin. Megan. The, the new girl, Nicole. Sexually harassing our new students? You're in big trouble, mister. Nicole, oh, there's no. something we need to talk about. Oh, God, not you two. Your principal called and told me there was a problem at school. A boy sent you some unsolicited pictures? Mom, this is gross. I'm not talking about it with you. You were forced to look at sexual imagery, Nicole. The child psychologists say that can really stunt development. Well, every day I'm forced to look at the principal's fat titties just hanging out all over the goddamn place. <laughs> this isn't about her. Look, I just need to know if you're okay. This was very serious. Be honest with mom, exaggerate trauma for pity gifts. I'm gonna do what every fucking girl would do in this situation. Let's get some free shit! Mom, I really don't know. I don't think so. Oh, sweetie, <laughs> what happened? It's okay, you can tell me. You won't be mad? No, you didn't do anything wrong. Free shit! You know, I don't know. He sent me the picture and just wouldn't stop texting me. And you got the limited phone plan, so I couldn't block his number. It just wouldn't stop. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll take care of that tomorrow. Now, what else? Well, the next day at school, he was way too confident with me. Just pinning me against the locker and licking my earlobes. That's Ew. what they fetishize now? Just sick. I know. He told me I was his property, and I just started crying. I don't know what to do. There, there. It's all right. Oh, this is the hardest part of being a mom, I swear. Is it? I'm sorry I'm a disappointment, Mom. I'd want a daughter who gets A's on math tests instead of D's to the vase. Stop it. I love you, okay? Is there any way I can make this better? Anything at all? Well, maybe some new, less revealing outfits? So boys stop hitting on me? Of course. What? How many? A whole wardrobe. Just to get me through to graduation. No, sweetie, you can't shift your whole life around over one abuser. I'm calling the school to get him expelled. Oh, all right. I guess that's fine, too. And if they don't, I'm filing a lawsuit. We'll even move if we have to. What? Again? Again? But I just... Shh, it's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Now, where's that office number? Well, fuck. Well, guess who didn't get expelled? Mom called again and threatened with a lawsuit. She forgot one crucial detail, though. I'm on the assisted income lunch plan, so they knew she couldn't afford a lawyer. Like six different alimony checks, and they're all going to hair bleaching. So we're moving. Again. Time to restart. I swear to God, I can never be satisfied. Not until it's too late. Well, those are all the endings. New message. Now what happens? Video message. Unknown. Where the fuck were you? Long story. Well, no, it's actually short. I just don't feel like telling you. Okay, whatever. Can we go now? All the good graduation parties are gonna be out of coke if we go too late. Is there coke at the bad graduation parties or just the good ones? What do you think makes them good? <laughs> I thought you were a pharma princess. Since when do you want hard shit? Since we graduated and I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh. Doing coke in high school is depressing, but I'm going to be in college soon. Whose line is it anyway? Mine. I'm Wayne Brady in this bitch ho. You want to be some cokehead bitch in college? Because if you do, I fully support it. You'd be like 10 times hotter. Oh my god, I know. I want to like go full out of control and then marry some rich med major who wants to save me. Ultimate goal. Is that the ceiling for us? What's the big idea, huh? Shut the fuck I up, know, Jeffrey. I little ideas. Yeah, and I got medium ideas. You ruined the whole graduation ceremony. I was valedictorian and everything. What did anybody do to you anyway? Everybody's always nice to you and calls you pretty, and all you want to do is hurt them. Well, shoot, if they call me pretty. Uh, and more than that, they give you things, always help you, and then I just see you screw them over. All I see is you being mean for the sake of being mean. It's like a game to you. You want me to tell you what you don't see? I've seen enough. Have you ever seen a man three times your age ask you to fuck him? 
Like just this week, or? What? Be serious! Sorry, how about 60 texts in one night all threatening you if you don't go out with the pizza delivery man who sent them? How would you oh. let some crazy guy get your number like that in the first place? I ordered pizza with my cell phone. I know your pasty white ass wouldn't get what being in demand is like, but it's a tough job, Jeffrey. And you don't even get paid. But if you do, you're a whore. Are you getting it, Jeffrey? So people like you. Boo hoo. They don't just like us. They're obsessed with us. Obsession leads to a lot of crazy shit. And you give the wrong bitch enough crazy shit in her life, she just might snap on everybody. Sounds like a good problem to have. Oh. I'd rather be surrounded by craziness instead of still being lonely. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know what life is like wanting a partner and being ignored by everyone. You're spoiled by social attention and you don't even know it. Is this your manifesto? Like what? At least wait till we get to college before you kill us, okay? I never said I'd do that. What college you guys going to anyway? Never said. What college are we going to? Could be Maryland. Or Florida. Maybe Cal State. You're gonna have to shoot up every school in the country at this rate. Oh, every time I try having a regular conversation, you just make it a joke about me. Like I said, socially spoiled. A little bit. Can someone be spoiled by not having a daily fight or flight moment? What? Like I should be you for a day? You're way too ugly to be her for a day. Well... She gets too much attention to know how much it hurts to be me for a day. I guess we'll never know. Huh. Huh. Sequel? Oh yeah, there's a sequel to this game, by the way. We're not gonna play it today. But... We'll definitely play it some other time. There is a sequel. And that's it! That is Class of 09! That's 100% a sequel tease. There's one more message? Where? Check the last message. I mean... Yeah, I already saw this one. Attention privilege. Attention is privilege. The biggest non-factor in news I have ever heard in this school. At least someone talks to you. Hmm. Well, time to go outside. And that was it for Class of 09! At least for now, there is a sequel to this game called Class of 09 Re-Up, which is, you know, more of the same, but with actual prettier graphics. Also, apparently they're working on an anime for this? Because everyone loves it. That game is WILD! You know, for all the mean shit and all the dark jokes and all the questionable content and all the pedophilia and white ra white fucking nationalism, this game is actually surprisingly well written. I don't know what's up with the letters that I got on my phone. I think those are like real messages from someone. I don't really know much about it. I'm much about the history of this game, to be honest. Also, do not idolize Nicole. Even though she's really fucking funny, you're not meant to sympathize with her. She's a bitch. It doesn't matter if her going through that school and that school being like an absolute sex past haven was bad and everyone else around her is worse. She's still a piece of shit. That's what, like, you should pay attention to whenever you consume this kind of content. You know, like, those kind of like, oh my god, she's so badass. She's so she's just a sociopath. She doesn't care about anything. Like, they're still horrible people, but they're pretty entertaining to listen to, at least. In Cassian's voice, what do you mean that there is a sequel? Yeah, it's called Class of 09 Re-Up. I am probably gonna play it in the future, either next week or a few in a few weeks in the future. I don't think I'm gonna do next week because, like, next week I have a special week planned for everybody here on the channel. So it's probably gonna be like in two weeks or something. She's a fun character, but no one I'd want to emulate. I mean, she comes from a pretty fucked up background as it is. You still gotta play Bioshock, Phil. I can't believe that there's someone on the chat that actually remembers that. 
I actually do need to play that, yes. Okay. I think that's time to end it off. Thank you for... Thank you for experiencing this crazy shit with me. And hopefully... You guys are into this new model. I'm gonna be exclusively using that this for visual novels, like like Class of 09, uh, Slay the Princess, and like stuff like that. I'm gonna be using this model for them, and just generally nerdy games. I'm gonna be using the Gremlin Fi model made by Ashers for like weird stuff, like Gremlin weird stuff, and Azazel's model for like just everything else. Also, there's a new model coming up in the future. I don't know how long it'll take to make, but, you know, look forward to that. And I may have some news for you guys about some makeshift stuff coming in the future in a few days. We'll see, though. I have a lot of stuff cooking up. And also, we'll do definitely do more Class of 09 in, like, a week or two, because I fucking love this game. This game is so goddamn dark. Hey Sora, hey Sora, I think for the $2. I'm glad Class of 09 was fun for y'all, and the model debut went well. Hooray! Hell yeah! Alright, well. Time to end this shit off. The only way that we could. See ya, everybody, later. Bye bye! The sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told when my back is to the world that was smiling when I turn. On the wall, as you're praying for my phone, and the laughter in the holes, and the names that I've been called. I stack it in my mind, and I'm waiting for the time when I show you what it's like to be worth spitting in the mind. Somebody pray for me. I'm praying that somebody hope for me. I'm staying where nobody supposed to be. P -p Posted, being a wreck of emotions. Ready to go whenever you let me know. The road is long, so put the pedal into the flow. The energy on my trail, my energy unavailable. I'ma tell it my silly way go. Hey, when I fly on my drive to the top, I've been out of shape, taking out the box. I'm an astronaut. I blasted off the planet, rock that caused catastrophe, and it matters more because I had it. Now I had I thought about wreaking havoc on an opposition, kind of shocking. They want a static with precision. I'm automatic. Quarterback, I ain't talking second and pack it, pack it up. I don't panic, batter, batter up. Who the baddest? It don't matter, cause we is your Everybody wants to be my enemy.